All right, what is up, guys? It's Royal Finance here. Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream today. GSOR 1008. I'm just going to call it the GSOR. That's the topic of today's stream. I'm going to be showcasing this brand new tier 8 British auto loading hash spamming tank destroyer that is very interesting indeed. I don't think there's really a tank in the game that is like this so far so this should be an exciting stream today we will decide whether or not this vehicle is busted broken or just complete trash who knows we will figure out as we go although i'm sure a lot of you guys already have a pretty decent idea so hello to everybody in chat hope you're doing well we have button guys man uh tennessee linda chung shrey pickle Abd, Hexagon, Happy Daddy, Andy Thompson. How's it going? How's it going? Welcome to today's stream. Among Us is in the chat as well. Scary, scary. Please do smash that like button. It is very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Okay. So, g -Sor. I've only played like seven games in this tank, so I'm not going to formulate an opinion on it just yet. But it looks really, really good from what I have seen so far. So what makes this tank special? Is it the armor or the mobility? Nah, very average, actually, at best. What makes this tank special is it's double shot auto-loading gun that has high pen, high explosive shells. That is really nice. So 350 base alpha, a two and a half second intraclip reload, 14.8, just about 15 seconds on the entire magazine itself. But the scary part, is you have 440 HE alpha with 170 based hash pen with calibrated that jumps all the way up to 187. That's the exact same hash pen the 2 and 5B and the Conqueror received in update 9.1. Except you're a tier 8. You're not a tier 10 or 9. So you're going into tier 8 matchups and you're just going crazy with hash doing 880 magazine damage if you pen both shots in under 3 seconds pulling back for 15 seconds to repeat the gun is crazy crazy good i would argue broken on this vehicle on on movement dispersion is not the best but once you give it a little time to aim in it actually hits its shots pretty reliably for an auto loader i mean you consider something like the brask brask is like what 320 alpha but a 21 second magazine reload like no hash or, or high explosive. Technically, it's not hash. It's just high pen HE. It, it's crazy, right? So this gun is really good. Top speed is 49 kilometers an hour, which on paper sounds great, but your acceleration is pretty bad. I mean, you only have 14 power to weight, train resistance or this, whatever. And so it's a little sluggish, but once you get it going, it can reach about 40, 45, no problem. Traverses, whatever. Armor is non-existent. Really do not expect to ricochet anything. The only thing I can say about the armor is you shouldn't worry too much about getting frontally HE'd by normal tier 8 and tier 9 vehicles. So that's better than something like a charioteer, I suppose. And that's, that's the tank in a nutshell. Enough of me blabbering on about this vehicle. Let's jump right on in to some games with the GSOR 108, 1008. And uh, yeah, hopefully get you guys some good solid gameplay and decide. I'll let you guys decide whether or not this tank's busted. Now the vehicle's in crates. Good job, Wargaming, guys. As usual, you're putting new tanks in crates. Sarcasm. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to go out here and say like, guys, this tank is so good. You absolutely must buy it. No, no, I'm, I'm not going to be like that. It's, it's your decision if you want to try buying takes from crates but i will give you an honest opinion on the vehicle first game middleburg it is a supremacy match so both teams could either play up or down i think what i'm gonna do here but that enemy team is pretty heavy i'm gonna go take the top of the hill my allies are kind of going towards town that's fine supremacy match if they can you know compete with the enemy team on a b that's that's good for me i'm gonna see if i can support our t49 up top it is a tier 9 matchup the only tier 8 they have that's a medium tank at least is the projecto 46 a very deadly vehicle but one which theoretically i should be able to deal with however cold feet have stricken me again all right enemy team is indeed pulling up onto the hill all right we're gonna pull out of here so my big brain decision to go hill is is foiled we're not gonna do that oh it's an object 704 let's aim a quick shell into his side we're gonna shoot ap because that's better from all the way back here probably unfortunately that one doesn't go through because the 704 has uh a spaced armor along the sides and i hit the very top so unfortunately that one ricochets but we're gonna pull out of here our 49 is doing an okay job spotting up 
I want to see if I can maybe provide him a little support. Hopefully, the Progetto didn't spot me just yet. Progetto. All right, so watch this Progetto 46. Easily one of the considered most broken tier 8 tanks in the game. 430 damage dealt to him with that shot. And unfortunately, the second one just misses. Now, one thing I forgot to mention about the G-Store is it's incredibly good shell velocity on the high explosive. It almost doesn't feel like you're shooting AG ammunition. I don't know the shell velocity numbers, but it is so good that it's pretty much, you know, point and shoot. A lot of tanks, the HG is very slow. It doesn't hit as fast as the AP or, or uh, APCR ammunition. It feels like it's practically the same as the AP on this tank. So you are hitting shots very quickly, even with the high explosive. Now I'm going to join this T49 over here. We have double cap, which is definitely the strat you want to run on this map if you can. You can see a tortoise. Now, obviously, I won't be able to pen the tortoise there. 704 is pulling it back into safety. Good play by him, I suppose. Let's put a quick shell toward the tortoise's side here, maybe. I don't think these are going to pen. There we go. Now, you do have 260 AP pen which is very nice. You will not struggle too much against vehicles. Obviously, tier 9 heavy tanks, tanks with a boatload of frontal armor, you might not be able to pen them so easily with 260, and you know, you can see even with the 704 angling up, but you know, that shouldn't be too much of an issue when you are in like these tier 8 matchups, and even a tier 9 matchup, you will still find positioning where you can deal with enemy tanks. What I'm going to do now is the enemy team are going to start pushing in for A, B. They have to. They're going to lose this game to cap otherwise. And it looks like the enemy team is going for A. I'm going to pull back and see if we can cut off this guy, uh, Chrysler K here. Now, he is going straight towards the cap, but it looks like he kind of got a little bit on the cold feet side of things over here. And my team are just kind of bombing in terms of supremacy cap points. We're, we, we, we have a good chance of winning this battle. All right, Chrysler K. One has shot into side. 450 damage. Two shots. Boom. 800 HP, gone in two and a half seconds. That is the power of this vehicle. We're going to pull back from the enemy Progetto. He hopefully takes a shot from the T49. And I think I'm going to have to just sit here for now. The game is pretty close. That is true. But the enemy team have to push in on me. So as long as I hit for some SOS, get some support from maybe one or two allies here, then we have a decent chance of maybe winning this game. Now, I am spotted right now. It looks like the enemy 704 is coming in for me. Let's put one quick headshot onto his side. Now, the 704 once again does have that... Space side armor. Let's put the tracks in. Oh, I go down, but we cap out. Not a good game in terms of damage dealing. Supremacy of mines when your team plays town. It's hit or miss. Enemy team took a billion years to make a play, so we were able to cap out. So only 1,700 damage dealt. Not necessarily even the tank's fault. I mean, it's a tier 9 matchup, and pretty much no one on my team farmed. A waffle did okay because he sat in the back of our spawn, which probably was a better farming position, to be honest, than where I went. But uh, we win based on cap. So a little bit of, uh, a little bit of Middleburg strategy for this battle is if your team wants to play town in supremacy i think that's fine just do what our team did that battle if possible and try and encourage your allies pick up those caps quickly and pull back and let the enemy team push into you now a couple of my allies made the mistake of pushing up on the hill all you have to do in that type of scenario sit back and just defend a b and you just chill there enemy team's gonna pull in they're gonna be panicking and usually you can take advantage to farm that out wasn't quite the case in that game because i had well the whole enemy team pile on towards A. I kind of thought they would send some forces towards B, so I ended up not getting a ton of farm there. But, you know, at least we did win the battle, and we're into the second game now. It is, once again, a tier 9 matchup, so matchmaking not being so polite. You can see we're cruising along at a healthy 44, 46. We finally reach our top speed as we're going down this hill. You know, it's, it's okay. It gets the job done in terms of mobility, but definitely not the fastest out there. Now, one thing I'm a little concerned about is my team is very much split, and I have a, a bit of a feeling... Our tier 9s aren't with us. And the enemy's tier 9s are headed this way. And this is still a medium tank. We're going to put a quick shell into that Skoda T50. A very nice 426 alpha damage shot. Enemy K91 has been quite aggro. Let's pull to the side. And you can see all of our tier 9s are just big chilling over here. Uh, I don't really know why they went towards town when the entire enemy team is still spotted on this side. But let's see if there's something I can do about that. Now the K91, T49. These tanks are being pretty aggressive on the outside. Enemy team has really no one on this side of the map either. And you know what? If this K91's not careful, we might be able to pull on right in behind him. Boom, 435 hash damage. Boom, 422 hash damage. And we deal a solid 800 damage to this dude. Enemy T49 is getting just a little bit aggressive here. I'm going to try and back up. He does shoot HG at me, but oh, he takes 874 from the Waffenträger. Not a very 
gamer trade for our mans here as he gets brought down to a one shot instantly let's get ready to pick up a quick kill shot on this k91 boom k91 gets taken out we'll load up another he hep round for the uh sta1 sorry not hep h -E, it's h -E. i keep wanting to call it hash but it's not and so far we've already dealt about i don't know 1800 or so damage let's load up another high explosive magazine and we will make this sta's game once again very miserable one more he 410 into this dude here looks like he's just yoloing down into the abyss where he will kill our Chrysler probably, but he will maybe, just maybe, die in the process. Let's pull forward here, aim at HE round to his engine deck, and oh, I hit a little too high. I'm sorry, Chrysler. 2.6k damage has so far been dealt. That dude should hopefully not be too much of a threat. I want to see if I can deal with maybe this DS5, but mostly I just want to clip out the T30 because it looks fun. So let's go find Mr. T30 over here. Here's Mr. T30. We have the back of his turret. 1 HE, 550 max roll. Second HE, 496. The T30 losing 1,000 hit points in 2.5 seconds to this nasty tank destroyer. And he gets taken out of the game just like that. And this wasn't even that intense of a battle. As a matter of fact, the only thing that I can really call out is I decided the bad play was to take the bridges, immediately relocated when I realized the tier 9 heavies are out of the fight, and push right back up the mid to crossfire them out. That's what you want to do if you can. If the enemy team is full sending up, up top and you're in a delicate TD like the G-Sword, which isn't really known for its armor profile, then definitely make that kind of more passive play to try and catch those things off guard. And don't get yourself stuck in a frontal engagement. We did almost 4,000 damage that battle so uh <laughs> hep is synonymous with hash hep is high explosive plastic rounds that's what the german tanks have with high he pen so like the ru251 the uh m41 d bulldog uh, german bulldog and stuff like that that's what hep is hash is what british tanks usually have but when i was looking at the ammo it just says high explosive so just premium high explosive i guess and so there we go a much better example of what this tank is capable of. Now, just a quick reminder uh, for people that are thinking about this tank. Remember, it, it doesn't have a ton of hit points. It still is a tank destroyer, right? 1,250 HP. You're not a heavy tank running around with 15, 16, 1,700 hit points. You are... 1200, which means you're a two shot to most tier 8 TDs with 150 millimeter guns, a three shot to most 120 millimeters. You have to preserve your HP. You don't want to get overly aggressive in it. But you do want to try and position yourselves maybe second line. I mean, you can use this thing as a as a pure sniper if you want. But I personally believe the GSOR can be used more as a second line support tank, which is what I'm going to do for most of today's stream rather than rather than just sitting in the back of spawn just because the gun is so potent you can really pull forward and get those instant knockouts on tanks for you know 800 almost 900 hp sometimes even more than 900 hp i'm gonna sit back here for just a second let's see what the enemy team does here they have an action x e75 ts amx 1390s being a little aggro here and use this hill as cover and it looks like my heavies are being just super passive they don't really want to make any kind of big brain plays at the moment there is the action x action x in a little aggro it's in the egg she shell into the side of his hall unfortunately that one doesn't quite go in but i should still be unspotted i'm going to see if one of these guys makes a mistake you know what we might be able to put a quick shell into this e75 ts when he starts backing up here this should pen maybe there we go 350 that's what 260 base pen does easily able to pen the e75 ts there and i'm just gonna play support on the hill you know, if you want, you could sit where the SU-130 is. It's much safer, much less risky of a play to make. But you got you guys know me. I don't I'm not a sniping connoisseur. I don't I don't like sniping. Alright, let's see. We can aim for a shot on his hatch. Not quite just missing out. And oh man, the uh E75 TS gets absolutely bopped there. And so I'm gonna act like I'm distracted. Now this game so far doesn't seem to be all that great in terms of farm. Uh, this Amex 1390 could still cause issues for me and my allies here. I'll see if the 50 TP. All right, he might pull forward now. The 50 TP fired. Boom, he's dead. Nice. So a little bit of patience there. We've cleared the hill. We have hill control. Enemy team are about to lose their last heavy tank, and really all that's left is the TDs that were sitting back all game and T44 100 who's somewhere in the back as well. Now I'm a two shot to these Waffenträgers if they don't low roll me. So I'm gonna take it a little easy for now. Chimera took a few shots. I'm not really sure from who. Waffenträger number one spotted up. All right, he's on the outside over here. Waffenträger number two could easily be in this bush. So let's just pull through just a little bit here. Here's the T44-100. Couldn't quite shoot him, but I don't think I'm spotted either. This is not going to be a great uh, damage farming battle. Enemy team just really evaporated this time. Uh, and I'm a little scared to spot up too aggressively, knowing there's probably Waffenträgers just like right back here. Let's take one blind shot just in case. And let's take a second blind shot just in case. Now, I wasn't spotted. It means the Waffenträger wasn't in that bush. Because from that distance, oh, he gets ammo wrecked. No, my farm. 
Uh, the the uh, the enemy team is just gone, aren't they? Well, ain't that interesting. Ooh, okay. So the G Sor is sniping on the right. The Waffenträger is in the bush. Uh, the other one is, I believe, just beginning to pull forward into the bush. So let's wait to see if we can catch him off guard trying to shoot our T32 here. I, I know I'm playing it passive, but if I get spotted by these Waffen Triggers, I'm having a bad day. 448, that shell velocity allowing you, me to instantly just snapshot that Waffen Trigger. Another has shell to the other Waffen Trigger. Unfortunately, we do lose our T32. But you know what? Both Waffen Triggers did shoot their guns at that moment. I think I should be pretty secure to start pressuring in on the inside right about now. Now, of course, this G Sor is going to try and shoot at me. So let's use this hill as cover from the Waffles. And let's see what we can do to their G Sor. I'm sure he's going to back up fairly soon into the open, maybe. Just barely. Come on, back up just a little more, buddy. Fired once. One has shell, 410 damage dealt. Second has shell, 476. That puts us at 2,500 damage. And even though this game wasn't great in terms of farm, we are still pulling out an easy maybe 26, 2,700 damage here. As long as I don't take any HE from this dude and I can get one shell into these waffles. So let's pull forward. That G-Sword gets taken out. Waffle number one spotted. Boom. Quick kill shot on him. Waffenträger number two, boom, quick shell him, 400 damage, and just like that, we have over 3,000 damage dealt for this game. So, definitely able to farm up a lot more on the second half, but, you know, if you're going to play hill in something like a G-Sword, take it easy, be patient, don't get too aggressive right off the bat, because you have a lot of opportunities to farm up later game. Apparently, that's an ace tanker. I don't know why this tank is so easy to ace. I feel like it should be 4k, but there you go. Not too shabby. Uh, no credit to her. He has created a very uh, great team. Uh, talk about BT BPS, or as I refer to, BTS. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to mispronounce your team name like that. <laughs> All right. Hey, lots of people in the chat. Hello to everyone who joined. If I didn't say hello to you just yet. Hi. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I don't have enough time to call everyone's names because I'm in another game. So, let's look at the enemy lineup. Man, tier 9 matchups over and over. When can I abuse tier 7 tanks? That's when this tank becomes super fun. But you know what? No matter. Enemy team, STA-1, WZ-120. Triple tank destroyers, one being a Hori, and a couple of heavy tanks, Action X and the Type uh, 68, I believe it is. Yes, I might help our heavy tanks here. This might be a really bad idea. Or it could work out. What we're going to do... Is if I help our heavy tanks, I will play support for them. I'm not going to get overly aggressive. I'm going to let our 53 TP do most of the initial spotting. And I will see if I can farm off of our heavies. That's, that's kind of the plan. It, it, it might not work out. WZ120 being here is a bit of an ominous sign for me. Also, I got spotted up. I'm not exactly sure by whom. You see, there's the WZ120. We do manage to bait a shell out of him. Boom, 370 to this dude. And boom, 350. Even with the AP rounds, this gun just works really well. So yeah, you can see that the dispersion on movement is not great. But the moment you start aiming it in, it has a really good aim time. You will definitely start hitting shots pretty easily. All right, there's the Hori on the left. We can see the T28 has been annihilated. And oh no, it's an action X. All right, let's aim one headshot into him maybe. That one goes to Narnia, sadly. Let's aim another one into him, 340. Not really the best trade for me, but he has a 53 TP yoloing him, so he's way overextended through A. I should have realized he capped A and uh, that he would be in that position. So unfortunate that my situational awareness was not able to capture that. And let's see, Type 68. I don't think he's looking at me just yet. The action X being a little aggressive on the inside. Hori, I believe, just fired. And you know what? Let's deal with this. Uh, the Hori's going to escape. Let's deal with this action X real quick. Once again, just another absolute steamroll of a game. Action X, one HE towards him. And I'm not really sure how that one missed, but okay. At least the second one hits. 360. Woo, nice high roll. This game is already over. Okay. This was such a steamroll on the enemy team. I was playing it a little bit careful. And that resulted in me really not getting much farm. Although, if we can pen two S shells into this dude, one 429 HE damage and 438. We still managed to pull 2.2k out of a very fast game that lasted exactly two minutes. A two minute 7 0 sweep. Uh, rip to the enemy team, rip to the average damage, but at least we did okay in the end. Could have been much worse, right? We probably did about middle ground for our team. Actually, we did second to top. Not bad. I will often throw it out for me. GG to that dude. Maybe if I turned same control about off, we would get slightly different teams. We shall see. Hi, bro from Iran. Early in the morning. Great job. Hello, Hiro. How's it going? <laughs> LOL. Hey. HE bounced. Weird. I know. So they don't win anything. Has no... <laughs> has no... Fa uh, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna stay uninvolved in that conversation. You guys have fun. Better show us your Honda CBR 1000 super fun. Ah, uh, yeah, no, not quite a CBR 1000. <laughs> it's a Honda Accord. <laughs> this was actually my brother's cap. So, um, 
Fantas, what is the T49 HE? It has the same icon as the 183's hash. Uh, does it? I, I don't, I don't know. All right, guys. Let's see what we're going to do here. You know what I might do? I might go right. I don't really like sniping left. Obviously, I could go left and deal with the Skoda and Chimera and LT. Uh, but our heavies are AFK or wandering into Narnia. Look at this dude. He is trying to find Narnia to the best of his ability. I think I'm still going to go right. The enemy team don't have a very strong heavy force in this engagement. And so the odds of them full committing heavies to ACAP are pretty slim. So if I can pull the big brain flank out and maybe start farming them up, that would be really ideal. It's a stock uh, It's a stock Carnarvon. I'm not really all too scared of them. Please don't hit me, 704. Uh, thank you so much for not hitting me. All right. So we got a wild Carnarvon here. I'm gonna act like I'm not pushing forward. We're gonna wait for him to get a little aggro. I do have a 50 TP with me, and you ready for this dude to lose 800 hit points? Let's go. All right, one HE, boom, 440. And he doesn't realize I have a two and a half second reload. The second one hitting is Mantlet, unfortunately. That shot went really low in the reticle, but our 50 TP prototype is just like, first send it. And so he takes a shot from the 704, very nice. It looks like the Carnarvon's gonna get ready to back up. I'm going to wait for him to do that, and so I can put some more shots into him the moment he gives me a little bit of engine deck or something. Looks like that is... Oh, he gets Amorakt. Bruh. You should have just backed up. <laughs> so, unfortunately, not able to farm him out, but... Ooh. Um, maybe. That shot goes in. We'll end the second one a little lower just in case. Who knows? I believe the second one hit a wall. Very nice. All right. So, they have a TD up here somewhere. 50 TB did lose a few hit points to it. I'm going to use this rock to try and as, act as a little bit of cover. 704 is not here. So, the one that was farming our allied out... Our ally out had to be the 704, so he must have dropped down 2 1. Once again, my team's winning. Ooh, I wonder if I hit the Skoda. So, confirmed, I've penned one shot this battle. Unconfirmed, maybe a shot on the Skoda. And it's already 3 1. Like, oh man, their team is just YOLOing, YOLOing, and dying. This is, uh, these are all not very ideal farm games. 1 HE into this dude, baby. Not quite. No. No. Why are you YOLOing? Oh my gosh, the damage is not found. All right, maybe the Charioteer. Please, Charioteer. Please, stay put. <laughs> no. Oh, my gosh. Why do these dudes always YOLO? It's like, I don't understand. I was reloading my magazine. Oh, my goodness. This is even worse than when I was playing with the mobile teams. Well, this game is already over. The, this enemy team was abysmal. Uh, absolutely abysmal. They... They didn't even have to face our tier 9 heavy tank, and they got smashed. I would be happy to even pull. Well, I think I pit, like, one or two shots this game. All right, uh, a bit of a missed call going A. I didn't think their team was going to just suicide YOLO like that. That was a uh, uh, very nice experience. Hey, at least I blind fired that dude, so that's a rip to the average. I still did better than our Progetto and stuff, but my goodness, the enemy team. You know what? I don't want to deal with these PC players. We're putting save control mode back on. <laughs> they YOLO'd even harder. Oh, man. Fan is get your like license. You will be blown out of your mind by how fun it is. Oh, I know how fun it is. <laughs> uh, are some shell types more accurate or inaccurate than others? Generally speaking, no. It just depends. Some may be more accurate because of shell velocity. So usually, you know, APCR is really good shell velocity. AP middle ground, heat, and HE slower. So that can impact accuracy. But generally speaking, when it comes to like where it lands in a reticle, no. The meantime, is so nice. I know, right? Okay, guys. I've learned my lesson from that last game. We're just going to YOLO to wherever I assume the majority of their team is going to go. Uh, or at least an area that's versatile and farm potential. I think what I'm going to do here is just straight send it heavy side. Hopefully, I don't get nuked by their meds or lights when I'm in the crossing here. Now, I know the Batch Up Rask is a long reload, so he might barely reload in time. Enemies Batch Up Rask coming with us as well. And the enemy team is going up towards C. So, you know what? No playing like a pansy. We're, we're playing very aggro right now because I need... I, I must get my damage. Need, must, have, damage. Tiger P is is yoloing into the B where he will shortly die. All right, let's get ready to aim some shots into the Chimera here. Let's see if he pulls back for a second. Ooh, 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 T44-100 will aim a little one. Doom, 469 right there into the side of his turret. And oh my gosh, 336 is a low roll. But did you see that second shot? This is exactly what I was talking about when I said this tank has insane high explosive shell velocity. Being able to hit shots like that in with HE on tanks like that is just incredibly Incredibly nice and something that most vehicles can't really do. All right, I guess we'll pick up a kill on this tiger. 
Let's try and pull back from the T28 defender before he gets any bright ideas. Unfortunately, not able to max roll him there. Looks like our Bashathion Brask just, just gave up on life. All right, so he's going to go down pretty quickly there. Uh, let's make sure we're safe from the Chimera. Chimera could shoot me, so let's just watch out for that. But the G-Sword on the enemy team playing a little aggro here, a little bit in the open. Let's pull forward. One shell towards the side of his turret. That one misses. Maybe the second one goes in. 476. Very nice. That makes him a nice double shot for me. If he decides to pressure me a little bit here, we can just pull back from the T28 defender and get ready to deal with the enemy G sword. Now, maybe he doesn't realize, but we, we have like the same reload buddy and he's he's yellowing into the middle. Interesting play by the G sword on the enemy team. All right, let's get ready to put one at least AP shell into him. Can't quite pull that off. And there's an SU-122, SU, I mean, not 122, SU-130 with me. And let's see, one quick shot to the G sword here. And as long as you don't low roll, we can kill him with this shot. Very nice. SU has been quite aggro. That is true. And I think I'm gonna do here is we're just gonna yellow around this corner. And hopefully, before he reloads again to catch me up, we can just keep running away from our dudes here. All right, all right, all right. There we go. We can easily HE this SU here. Oh, no. I suck. I can't drive. Re all right, one HE to the back. Pull back. Let's go. Pull forward. All right, reverse side scrape. We got this, boys. Nah. I don't know how that first one missed. Bad turret reverse. We still got 3K out. Consider got the 1v2 there. Not too bad. A bit unfortunate that, the, uh, that first shot missed on the SU there. But in the end, I probably wasn't going to get much more damage anyways, because this T28 is going to die very, very quickly. So we'll wait for our mans to die and uh, and call it a day. Um, you know what? Maybe these dudes are going to throw, actually. There is a chance they could. We shall see. I will answer chat while I wait to exit this game. And so definitely you saw there the g source mobility not being so so fire it's traverse speed really quite bad and i couldn't even like traverse around the rock fast enough to run away from that su and so you will feel that traverse speed and acceleration not being all that spicy now it looks like this dude's about to go down Ooh, very nice work boys good job we get the dub good stuff we got 3k out yes Vanus is the best yp streamer ah trap melon you're too kind thank you so much I can confirm that Yaro is indeed the Yaro. Interesting. Fan is a good first round, man. Bring good vibes. Ah, thank you. You, you guys you guys should stop inflating my ego. This is a bad idea. Fan is, can you do ASMR? I, I don't have anything to do ASMR with. Like, I, I, don't, I, have, I don't have any crinkly things. <laughs> Stream stats. Stream stats? Um, no, it's a press account. But we're running 3K. 93% win rate for 13 games. That's how you know you're getting sweet battles. If you have like a 93% win rate in a, in a tank after like 10 battles, uh, after like 12, 13 games in it, um, and your average damage isn't super high, it's okay. We understand. Because generally speaking, that means you're just getting just goaded uh, sets of games there where the, where the enemy team's just getting steamrolled. <laughs> When school start back? Around uh, August 25th or so. <laughs> First time ever on your stream. Swiss, welcome. Swiss, Swiss. All right. Let's go jump on into the left-hand side here. Another tier 9 matchup. Okay, okay. Look at the lineup. Enemy team don't have a lot of meds. Uh, 54 mod 1, which let's be honest. The mod 1 isn't all that scary. Also, let's get Bobby in the camera angle here. Shout out to the Bobby fans. And uh, there we go. Well, oh, and I drive into a rock. You know, it wouldn't be a His Royal Finest live stream if I wasn't fiddling around with stream or chat and drove into a rock. How very classic of me indeed. Anyways, I'm going to try and take the bridge here. Get a bit of a crossfire out. And at the same time, this mod one might make a bit of a boo-boo. Oh, no. No, how unlucky. That shot went so high in the reticle. Okay. This dude could have support. Let's wait a second. There are unspotted tank destroyers. I am a little concerned about them. Captain Stingham, you're really going to try stream sniping me in tier 8 as well? Bruh. <laughs> All right. So 54 mod one's going for the bridge here. And let's see. And it looks like the mod one's by himself. All right. The mod one's going to have to pull back. All right. There is a WZ here. I'm not going to worry too much about this dude. He can't spot me just yet. What I can do is I'll pull down into this ditch if that WZ tries pulling up to shoot me. Let's just slowly inch our way up into behind the mod one. 400 damage there. And another 480 plus a fire. Bring him down to 400 HP. This dude can try and yellow me, but it's a really bad idea. So he should probably just pull away. I, I don't know what he's thinking. He he's not running away. WZ's down there, brother. You got to cover fire. You should totally go for it. LT is pushing in quite aggressively. You see the 111 GFT has pushed up in towards this middle position down below here. I'm not sure if he's pre-aiming for us or not. And he is just barely pulling back. Ooh, okay. Okay, I can't, I can't hash pen him on that terrain. Oh, oh, yes, there we go. Second shot goes in. I take nine damage because he shot a G at me and failed the pennant. That's always pretty satisfying. 
And wow, we have a wild Fosh flanking us. Okay, so LT should get that dude. I don't have to worry too much about him. Let's go. Let's go uh, give a nice little greeting to the wild Fosh here. So I'm going to stay unspotted. Fosh gets donked by a Waffenträger. And he's about to get double tapped by me in the pro. <sighs> 4 0 already. Dude, what are these teams? There hasn't been like any like really good close games. It's always been so one sided. Even last game. No. How am I supposed to farm with these sweep battles, dude? I, I keep positioning myself in an area where, generally speaking, it's decent, but they're just getting bonked on the heavy tank side. Like, goodness. Okay, well, we are not farming a lot of damage this game. Unfortunately, but, I mean, look at this acceleration. This acceleration is great stuff. I need to turn my fan up to max. My room is getting way too hot. Okay. Um, Motion versus Motion 1v1 going over here. That's pretty cool. Looks like the Amex 30 should pick up a kill on this dude in just a moment. Unless I can yoink it. We yoinked it. And uh, let's go YOLO the motion. So, uh, yeah. Wow. We got 2k out. But all of the farm I was hoping to get on these tanks just was non-existent. Okay. Please let me be able to hash bang your side. Oh, no. We'll just have to shoot AP. Oh, I... Bro, what is it with those shots always hitting that position? At least the second hash shell goes in. Let's go. <laughs> I swear, there's a curse in motion and mice vehicles where... You'll aim for the rear, and it hits right in that little gap. The little spot that you shouldn't be able to pen. I mean, that, that is, like, almost minimal to hit. All right, maybe one more shot. Nice. One more. Come on, boys. We got the 3K. Let's go. Okay, you know, we got 3K damage out, but once again, 7-0. Guys, get better at the game. I want some challenges. <laughs> hey, Vanessa. Hey, help me. How's it going? Welcome. Oh, just dropped my phone. Okay. An ace tanker. Guys, how... Is it that hard to play this tank? I've aced it seven times. I have a 50% ace ratio in this tank, guys. It's Why is it so easy to ace? This tank came out yesterday morning at like 2 a.m. <laughs> when is Caliban coming? I honestly do not know, Floyd, but um, we'll see. We'll see. But the Caliban comes, I'll definitely stream it. I think it's going to be a very memes tank for, based on what I have seen from the tank. Not tough of personal experience, okay? All right. This tank should have catastrophic ram damage because of the sword. That would be a really funny perk if we're giving just like, yeah, if you ram something with, with the sword gun facing forward and you just deal like stab damage. Don't know what the guy. All right. As I said before, turret matches are very one sided. Yeah. I mean, they're one sided, but when I played uh, a few games of the tank this morning, they were actually pretty close. So I'm, I'm hoping we get some slightly more competitive matches. I'm just going to go heavy side. You know what? Let's just go heavy side, see how it goes. But, brother, what's with this guy's voice? Where's the real His Royal Fatness? Ah, he, he is, um, he's back in, the, he's back in the dungeon. Sorry, yeah, the, uh, the real His Royal Fatness escaped from the dungeon and did a stream. And, uh, we had to put him back there. <laughs> All right, so, M3, yo, looks like the med lights are not here. I'm gonna be a little aggro. I got all of the heavy tanks with me. The reason I'm being a little aggro right now is I really want my damage, and, and so far these games have been so fast that I might just have to be a little more aggressive here. Now, my team has already lost the tank. How unfortunate. But we might be able to catch that Yo or someone in their spawn just a little bit off guard here. So three tanks are over there. I know that Yo can't be too far away because he was spotted in the vicinity, but my allies are taking their sweet old time doing anything. Oh, enemy g -Sor. One shot. No, what was that? Scammed! Oh, at least the second shell goes in, but oh, that first shot was very unlucky. That one went so high. And there was that split second before it starts aiming in. Okay, so our M6 is holding mid. The Yo and the VK are just chilling over here. Barask is YOLOing our M6, who's definitely gonna have a bad day. I think I'm gonna pop back up towards the middle of the map and see if I'm farming out. But we've already lost our 49, our Blaze, and our M6 is sitting alone in spawn because he didn't relocate in time. Let's see if anybody gets some shots into the KV5 TS5 here. Here's the TS5. Unfortunately, that shot doesn't quite go through. AT 87, nice. I got a little tunnel vision there. Still have these triple medium lights YOLOing this end of the map, and this is definitely not looking very good for me. Not at all. I'm going to set myself up to nuke to 1357, because he's probably going to go for an SC-130 here. So 1357 being really quite aggressive. Oop, auto aim track onto the wrong tank. 430 into this dude, and boom, 493. Very nice, taking out a healthy chunk of his HP. Let's pull back for a second here. We're safe from the AT-7 for now, so I'm going to focus on the Barask and his fellows, but um, we definitely need to kill this LT and Barask very, very quickly here, because I'm going to lose, you know, I'll lose about 800 HP if that Barask comes around, or at least 700. Looks like my allies are are not providing me very much support. Here's the enemy's Barass. Let's put one HE in his side. What? Where did that shot go? Oh, two HEs. Now, I do have the Barass in terms of reload here. 
I'm not sure where the LT432 is. Here's the LT432. He's full sending it in. Looks like the TS5 is also sending it in. I gotta focus out this Barrasque. Hopefully we can catch him on fire, but you know what? This game is already over. Um, allies were just not very great this time. So this time, my allies were very small brain. All right, so there we go. 3200 damage dealt. That's gonna be it for me. This team... Okay, our T3... M6 should have ran away. And these dudes took just died in their spawn. They couldn't kill the G Sword and Yo back there. So yay! Now I'm on the team that gets 7-0'd. What an experience. Well, I don't think even if I had gone right, it would have made a difference. Because we had too many people just kind of wandering all over the place. We did do 3,200, but um, I mean, yeah. 600, <laughs> 1,200. Yeah. My team combined. Did just about 2,000 damage. All of them combined. You just kill me. <laughs> better see stream. You just kill me. Better see stream. Martin. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the uh, stream. Thanks for the donation. <laughs> fan of out Alienware. Uh, they look so cool. I, I don't know. I, I've never been a huge fan of Alienware stuff. I know, I know it looks cool, but uh, I'm more into just uh, whatever gets the job done. And I feel like Alienware can be a little overpriced at times. <laughs> Is G-Sword better than Charioteer? Uh, I would say definitely better than the Charioteer. YOLO in mobile players. I know. This nonsense needs to stop. It needs to stop. <laughs> All right. Well, I, um, I'm um, i still pulling out about 3k damage in the tank. But yeah, very one-sided games. Let's see. We're jumping to this next match. Tier 8 matchup here. Any team have a 432. Once again, your typical stream sniper. Amex 1357. They have a lot of TDs and a couple Tier 8 Evies. I'm probably going to pull up towards the middle. I assume the LT will probably spot down left here. And we'll have a couple of going up towards the mid as well. Okay. And let's see. We, we just might. I know I don't have the view range to do this. But we just might be able to catch one of these vehicles kind of off guard. So the AMX 1357 is pulling up very aggressively. Same with the LT here. Boom. One has shown to the side of the LT. He is definitely being very aggressive around this corner. Another 450 HE into his side. Very nice. So, first one not petting. Second one did. We are safe from the crossfire. This Edelweiss looks here. Over here looks like he is, uh, he looks like he wants to get farmed. So, watch this wait a second and double tap him. Alright, Mr. Edelweiss just big chilling over here in the mid. We can probably just AP kill him. So, yeah. 399. And, uh, you know what? I want to farm HE on the WZ. Boom. 550! Oh, yes! That's that hash, hash damage. I'm just gonna call it hash, guys. For one of better term, it's pretty much just hash. We're gonna call it HE, but, you know, any kind of high, high pen British ammunition, I just call hash. Okay. Uh, at least that is HE style. All right. WZ is about to have an even worse day. Oh my goodness, Fastness another 400 opinion. damage. Should I wait for the Caliban or this time? Alrighty. SU-130, let's do it, deciding. SU. Let's do it, let's do it, SU. Oh, SU baiting me, baited. Okay, it is 4-2. It's been about two minutes and it's already been pretty sweet. Fanis, in your opinion, should I wait for the Cabo or Tank to have money for one of the two? Just hard time deciding. Um, That is a pretty hard decision because the Caliban's not released yet. But uh, I would say the G-Sore out of the two vehicles will probably be much more of a reliable tank to play. So we'll just leave it that way, but we will see. It could be different. All right, two point AK damage dealt. But, uh, you know, obviously Caliban's not been released. I can't give that honest opinion, but I do think the G-Sore is really good. I would say just, you know, keep watching the stream and see if it's something that looks like you would really find interesting. The Caliban's probably going to be a much more derpy, slower type of vehicle than this. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Noise camo. It, it is a pretty cool camo, isn't it? All right. If I kill the SU, I just might be able to pull out 3K this game. Let's go. All right, SU, you are mine. All right, where's the WZ at? WZ, you will be mine too. Aiming, 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 pop. Oh, yes, 3K. Barely winging it. Let's go. HRF, <laughs> when does your Harvard classes start again? Oi, 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 you overestimate my abilities. I am not in Harvard, I promise you. <laughs> All right, well, 3K, I, I guess it could be much worse. We are still holding 3K in the tank. Yeah, about 3,100. But, oh, man. These games have been fast. I, I, I will try not to complain about it for too much longer. That will get old pretty fast. But, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm not a fan that G-Sword is very situational and, very, at, a very, and at times very team-dependent with a 15-second reload. Team trouble, I suppose. I think, personally, 15-second reload is really good. <laughs> for what the tank has. I mean, the Brass with 320 Alpha is running a 21 second reload. So, you know, for someone who enjoys the Brass, this seems like a really good in terms of gun and DPM. It's about 26, 2600 DPM, which is really nice. All right. Let's look at the specifics of the hash, uh, shell and game G-Source Premium HE is called hash according to Wargaming. 
It's called hash according to the wargaming, but in game it's referred to as uh, it's called HE. I don't know how that works. If there's such a thing as fun medium tank at tier nine, yeah, I play a Progetto a lot, 46 a lot. Um, difficult to say. Tier nine meds are nice, but they're a little bit underpowered right now, especially after tier turn heavies got yoded. They just suffer. All right, let's sit here and wait at the bridge. See if we can catch anyone off guard. Get that juicy farm in. Uh, so far, no one has exposed themselves to me, but ooh, it's an action X. Oh my goodness, 475. I mean, look at that HE ammunition work. Like, once you aim in, it just instantly hits where you're aiming, and that Centurion Action X really found out the hard way. Good, this dude's gonna spot up the middle for me. It's just what happens when you get a little bit overconfident. Oh my gosh, it's a spawn sniping a mill. I feel so bad for his teammates. All right, one HE into this dude's lower plate. We should be fast enough here, maybe to just barely pick up a kill. Maybe I should have shot HE there. Whatever, enemy G sword being very aggressive down low. T69 getting yoinked from the mid. I think I'll go and see if I can help our M4 kill this G sword, and then we can push up together through the middle here, so. Progetto is killing my Comet. Those dudes are going to go down pretty quickly, I believe. And it looks like the enemy G Sword getting a little bit, uh, a little bit aggressive here. Bob putting a quick kill shot into his tank. I'm trying to run away. But I don't think there's any crossfires from there. Yeah, not yet. We'll definitely have to kill the Tiger, Emil, and Action X very quickly. We have three heavies here, plus me and another G Sword. And we're going to lose that flank. So getting aggro right about now was a really good decision. If we can kill the Action X first, uh, hopefully our Action X can pull that off. I can believe in you, buddy. Very good. All right, the Emil's flanking. Let's just YOLO this Tiger here. All right, so Tiger is going to get the Hesh experience. That's for sure. And all right, so we're pulling on into the Tiger. Boom, 460 to the front of the face. And boom, 449. I mean, he evaporated there. Now, the Stura Emil hits me from the back in the enemy's spawn. That's good to know that he's in that location. This Emil is a little bit overextendo. I should be careful peeking here because obviously the Progetto and T69 could double clip me. But I do want to see if I can farm some damage up. Okay. So here's the T69. There's the Progetto. I'm going to wait for both of them to kind of pull into the open here. Let's go for the Progetto first. He's more dangerous. One shot. Oh, I low rolled my, my HE. No. Well, that's not very good. Okay, let's see. T69's in the open. HE. Good. 172. We pick up a kill on him. Nice stuff. All right. Stuart Mill's out of this fight. So I'm going to go help our VK on the Emil 1 here. We This game is definitely much better in terms of farm. And a lot more of a nail biter. Let's go. And I'm very happy I played at the bridge. He's able to help our allies kind of pressure up on this side a little bit here. This Emil 1 is very lost in Narnia. Let's put one HE into the back of his turret. Maybe we can even Amarak him if we're lucky. Uh, we damage it. And we'll just pull back into safety. Now, Stuart Mill's back there, so we don't have to worry about him just yet. This Emil, he has his heart set on me. Bless him. He's... He's really eager. He's like, yo, that new tank's pretty cool. I want to shoot it. But I'm like, no, sir. And you die. All right, cool. Action X should be able to kill that dude. And all that's left is Destroyer Mill, who we know is over in those bushes in the back. So let's yell back for the Destroyer Mill. And we should pick up a pretty decent amount of damage this game. This might be the first kind of uh, mid-high uh, uh, damage game so far. I did pull that 6k in this tank uh, earlier today very easily. No, 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 no. Don't get farmed up by the Action X, buddy. Just don't. That's right. Leave it all to me. No! We got an elevation on this thing. Sucks. Oh, I'm not going to get it in the fire. No, we'll only get 4.5 out. Could be worse. 4.500 damage. 7-4 score. The game lasted about three minutes this time. And that was much more like it. That's what I like to see. A good farm game. The moment you get a non-sweep game, dude, this tank is farming up so much with its hash. Obviously an ace tanker in the vehicle. So, not too shabby. Not too shabby. I like it. See, I'm happy now. This world fact is smiling. <laughs> also, uh... For all the Bobby fads out there. Brief Bobby Cam. There you go. Sweet little Bobby. Okay. Jump into another battle. So, so far... Oh, wow. The poll changed a lot since the stream started. 492 votes. Now it's a 61% in favor of it being a little bit busted versus 39% believing it's not busted. Uh, I personally think the tank is busted. I mean, if you've watched this gun at all, you know what I mean. The shell velocity is what makes the hash so broken on this tank. Also, Castilla, your boy definitely sniping. Uh, I, I can't be bothered... I'm going to be sniping, okay? Don't hate. Don't hate, guys. I know I don't condone sniping most of the time, but it's Castilla. Like, come on. It's Castilla. Sniping is, like, what you do. <laughs> it, it, it's it's except, it, it's just to be expected. Okay. Unfortunately, none of my heavies are spotting the low crossing, but let's see if we can get an early shot or two out on any of the heavies up there. Our Brask is spotting the main hill. Uh, our Keeler and our Tiger 2 and Vindicator and, uh, Tiger are all going towards C. So we should be have we should have a pretty good split here. I'm just gonna wait and see. Surely someone gets spotted up soon, right? 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 
Any moment now, boys. Oh, the tiger. The tiger. No, I see what 22 is going to... Is, is just gonna is just gonna dunk on him darn okay let me see if i can get some farm into this dude then we pull into this ditch we have eight degrees of gun depression here oh it's not enough no dang it i didn't position myself high enough apparently i was just worried about getting spotted if i was too aggressive all right i don't know what's going on here's an assumption the entirety of the enemy team is sniping in spawn pretty much pretty much their whole team sniping in the back Brask is not even spotting or resetting A, which is kind of cute. Um, I'm going to get a little aggressive through the mid here, I think, with our Tiger one as well for support. Let's see if I spot anyone as I move towards B cap. So far, no one spotted. We do have to watch out for those G-Swords. They have double G-Swords and the SU. Those dudes can make my life very, very miserable in an instant. Let's see. I don't know if this IS-5 has shots on me, if he'll be able to spot me up or not. He does spot me up. One shell into his tracks here, 380 damage dealt. Second shot, 350. Very nice. Gun working quite well. I'm glad I didn't overextend like our Tiger here. Now, their 54 EO2 does go down, but we also lose our Vindicator. Unlucky. T34 EO100 was the one that got the cap here. Enemy G Soar looking a little bit uh, confident in his abilities. Oh, that was a really bad shot by me. I should have taken that one. Uh, I'll just put one quick shell down, 438, and pull back. Not the best trade. I was trying to HE his lower plate as he was pulling forward, but then he barely traversed in, which ended up not giving me that damage there. All right. Well, I think I know what I need to do now. Hopefully, we can just uh, we can just bop this dude. And so we <laughs> hash goes burr. Okay, very nice. Two two score. Uh, we are down on cap points. The SC one SC one five two is still just big braining up here. Uh, so far, not getting nuked. I'm sure he's gonna pull down pretty soon, right? Oh, I forgot about the ice five. I might be a bit of an idiot for this. Oh, very nice. Oh, can we hash the side? Oh my goodness, a high hash roll for 480. Let's aim for that hatch as well, maybe. Oh my goodness, 476. Look at that gun go, man. Absolutely annihilating the living daylights out of that enemy IS-5 here. G Sor shoots me from behind, so we know his position. And it looks like the um SU is probably going to be pulling off that hill soon. Interesting. T34-100 going down pretty soon. Enemy g are getting quite aggro now because that tank has very fat sides. I'm just going to shoot AP. A track shot, max roll, and he's dead. Okay, that's 3100 damage dealt. SU is the only tank left in which I can farm. And so I'm going to take it easy. I really do want to farm that SU for a magazine if possible. Uh, what? What happened to his hit points? He didn't pull off the hill apparently. SU making questionable plays. Questionable life plays. Um, yeah. He just sat up there and accepted fate and died. All right. Well, we got 3k damage out. Unfortunately, no farm. <laughs> no, no, like, 4k farm. Let's pick up a kill on this dude. Piece of cake of a game. Enemy team. Very sussy with their uh, very passive game strat. 950 damage and two shots. Is that how much I did? Yeah, that poor, poor um, IS-5. Just realized why you don't play the IS-5 anymore. That tank is just so irrelevant. Alrighty, alrighty. I, I will accept that. Not too shabby. 3k equal ace. Yeah, by the way, guys, how is this tank so easy to ace? Someone explain to me. The tank is so good. <laughs> it's, it's And it's, like, really easy to play, in my opinion. Like, um... You just kind of position yourself passively a little bit. You can snipe, or you can play second line. And you're doing 880 damage every like 16 seconds or so right all right so let's look at this matchup they have a 95 chieftain they have an action x they have an m3 yo they have one su and a lot of meds let's go heavy side yes now the reason i'm going heavy side so much recent uh for these games is they've been kind of fast i don't always condone this type of gameplay but um with how yolo the teams have been today i think this is perfectly exceptional gameplay okay Let's pull on in towards the heavy side. Action X, E6, I mean, T95, Chieftain, T95. Well, I think rather aggressive here. So far, no one really spotted up on this left-hand corner. Now, ain't that interesting? Okay, I do get spotted up by the enemy's M3 Yo. However, M3 Yo is just big chilling there with a hatch. So we put one shell towards him, and I guess he's just going to sit there and bait the corner. But, I mean, I can just pull back in the cover, and he can't do much to me. So... T23E3 on the enemy team being a little aggro here. Let me just itch my nose real quick. Um, looking a bit like a potential farm, isn't he? All right. Aiming one shell into the E3 side. Boom. 396. We'll have to load AP for the second shot, but 306 there as well. Not too shabby. T23E3 is definitely uh, 
Yeah, it's not very big braining right now. I can just keep pulling back and forth, back and forth. He will struggle to struggle to hit me reliably at least. And so, let's see what this man does. Okay, you know what? I'm getting a little bored of this dude. Oh my gosh, this M3O is still just sitting there staring at me. This dude has uh, has his has his heart set on me, doesn't he? One quick kill shot into our man's here. Not 100% sure where that 200 LT is located, but oh, almost been able to nuke him there. Okay, 200 LT goes down. SU's on the flank here. This game is already 2-0. and oh. Our heavies are doing a really good job. Their Yo still hasn't made a single play. I, I swear, if I turn the corner and this dude's still just like sitting there staring at me, I'm going to be like, bro, you're wasting all your time. Oop. Oh, 460. Oh, another hot shot. Oh, 371. <laughs> Catching him off guard. Getting two Hess shells into him. Man's not feeling so good. Let's watch out for the SU. Okay, he's driving forward. He won't be able to shoot me. This yo still really does want me. Now, obviously, if I take another shot from our man's ear, probably not the brightest idea. Let's put one more head shell into him, and then we can just load up an AP shell to finish him off. Boom. Two clips to kill that tier 8 heavy tank. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. All right, let's yellow forward and kill this action X while we can. All right, so Chrysler taking a couple shots for the team here. Uh, Chrysler, don't don't block me. I won't be able to shoot him. Uh, Chrysler, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you guys are being very big brain here. Oh my gosh, my allies are just doing what allies do best, and that is to just absolutely get in your way and block your shots and then um, fail anyways. Okay, you know what? I believe the SU's dead already. I'm going to farm out this uh, this dude. All right, one quick shot to our mans here. Let's get a second HE. Oh, yes. Very nice. Okay, we still got a 3k out. That action X is so lucky. Aye, aye, aye. The second shot I could have aimed better. I didn't realize he was going to pull back like that far. And so I aimed a little too high there and hit or low and hit his lower, uh, lower side of his hall. There we go. Not too bad. Only paid 5k gold for it. I uh, I paid nothing because I don't... Yeah, I don't, I don't really like crates. And so if I don't get it from like the cheapest crate, single buy, then I'm like, aye. All right. 3,500 damage dealt. Could have been much worse for sure. Could have been better though if I had pinball shots on that... Uh, and that uh, action actually could have had me, you know, closer to 4k, but ooh, ooh, well. <laughs> this takes is kind of attractive for me. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> nice. Thanks, guys, for the luck. Is the G-Star busted? Yes. If Fatness is behind the wheel, Fat Tony, you might be big braining. This is very big. This is a very big possibility. Also, why isn't my camera turning left? We need more Bubby. But the camera doesn't want to. It keeps sliding back. I think it's because the cables are pulling on it. All right. Lucky boys. The tank fan is playing right now, lol. <laughs> Very nice. All right, let's go mid. Okay, so another tier eight matchup. Cool, cool. We're not getting any of, of those uh, tier nine matchups right now. They do have a defender mark one. Very dangerous. Action X and Lova. I'll have to watch out. A smasher obviously can make one's life miserable. I'm going to try going hold on in the mid. This could be a bad idea. I mean, it could. Like once again, I'm saying this tank doesn't really have much in terms of armor. So do be cautious if you're doing what I'm doing and taking it like fairly aggressive into the engagements. Um, something just shot at me, so let's take a blind shot just in case. Okay, let's pull back from the action X. <laughs> ricochet at me, boy. Boy, when you get ricochets, you like, or is that the wave pattern always there? I could have sworn I saw like a reactive pattern on my vehicle when he bounced that shot. Ooh, our Tiger one, about to get YOLO'd. Let's get ready to deal with this defender. The defender is being really aggressive here. Really aggressive defender here. We might be able to get a couple of HE shells into him. He is trying to back up. Let's see. Let's see. Defender is pulling in just a little. His MREX damage. One HE shell for 380. Only 8 degrees of gun depression. Second, 492. Dealing close to 900 damage to that dude in a couple of seconds. And our Tiger 1 is just going to full send it. I'm glad he didn't overextend though. Because the SU, as you can see, totally just nuked our Tiger 1. Bulldog gets taken out instantly. Evening out the score just a little bit to 2-1. And so let's pull back. Let's wait for Mr. Lova to get like the big brain YOLO idea. He's going to be like, ah, oh, yes, it's a G-Sword. It is a, uh, a British TD. Of course I can pen him. Boom. 385 Hesh into your side, sir. And let's pull back before he can shoot me. <laughs> and what about that lower plate? Boom. 550. I mean, that's the front of a Lova. Like that take has a ton of armor. And just barely hitting that little bar, we dealt, I mean... Once again, about 900 damage to that Lova in a couple of seconds. Like, this tank is scary. 
Oh, just Nova's about to have a really bad day. One more headshot to the back of his turret here. He barely escapes my clutches. But you know what? We're going to risk it for the biscuit. I know there's an SU there, but I want to see if I can catch this dude on fire. 380. Doom. He takes uh, a bit of a low roll there in the side. I don't know why I said Doom. I think I was trying to say Boom because I was hoping Amarak, but it didn't work out. Has Sag. All right. So my team's actually losing this battle, but I don't mind so much. This game's a little bit more of a challenge in terms of it not being me just yoloing around as quickly as possible for damage. I'm gonna have to use my brain cells a little bit more this game. Okay, so Action X and Smasher, both just big chilling in the back here. I'm gonna put myself in a position where the SC won't be able to shoot me. We're gonna use this bunker and hill as cover. And hopefully, find out the Action X and the um, Smasher. Right, one shot to the action X here. We'll see if the Smasher gives me a shot on his side. Boom. And a fire. Let's go. Smasher's on fire. Look at our mans. An experienced Smasher player. Spawn sniping, as all big brain Smasher players do. Okay. So he gets taken out. That puts me at about, I don't know, 3,000 plus damage already somewhere in that vicinity. SU's still up top. We know the Lova's a one shot. Tiger P is about to go down. And uh, let's just be patient for the action X to make a bit of a misplay here. Action X getting a little aggro. One quick shell to his side, and before he backs up, we should be able to hit a second shell to his side. Very nice indeed, and we can just pull back from this dude's position. SU can't shoot me. Putting me at just under 4,000 damage so far, and oh, the Wild Low came back for revenge. Um, hi, how you doing, buddy? I wonder if this one will pen as well. Um, oh, okay. Um... Uh, would someone care to explain to me exactly what that man was thinking? Because I have absolutely no clue, and I'm very confused. I mean, my man's straight up decided to... Ah, uh, big brain. Hehehehe. <laughs> 5k damage dealt! Ladies and gentlemen, if this Chise doesn't steal all of my damage, we could pull out 6k this game. Yes. Very, very possibly could pull out 6k this game. Okay. Well, let's just hope we don't get HE. I'm just going to be very aggro here. I'm hoping the SU is preaming that corner, but he could be preaming the left push. Let's see if I get spotted. Not spotted just yet. Okay. Okay. Watch him HE my engine deck or something stupid. Alrighty. Alrighty. Now's our opportunity. I hope the SU wasn't shot earlier. Please. Where'd he go? No. Where did he go? Where did, our, where did our pal Mr. SU go? Did he flank us? Did he pull the big brain flank? No way. The SU's gaming on everyone. All right, let's dive bomb down here and pull on towards our spawn. I don't know where he could have gone. Whack. That totally caught me off guard. I thought he was still in their spawn. No wonder he didn't shoot me when I was killing the, uh, the good old uh, whatever tank was up top there. The action X. Okay. Um, SU gaming on everyone with his absurd flanking strategy. Or did he go town? Which way did the SU go? Coming up next, the search continues. Um, I'll let the Chise spot that corner. You know, maybe he went back. Maybe he went back. No way, maybe he went up top. Well, SU is gaming on all of us. What is this? Oh, I don't want this to be a draw. I'm on so much damage. What? No, there's only a minute and 40 seconds left. Oh, please let me find the SU. Okay, maybe he's sniping one of the back corners over here. No way this dude just gamed on all of us. Bro had like full hit points. Oh my gosh, my controls are glitching out too, so I'm losing my momentum. Minute and 24 seconds left. Still unspotted. Let's just push through here. Okay, I'm just going to clear all the way through our spawn. Yo, where, where? Oh, no way. He hits the AG. Where? The corner of my turret. You've got to be kidding me. Dude, you're not going to win over there. It's going to be a draw. Dang, that was 6k damage. I don't know. Some players make plays that are just so bruh that it actually works out for them. I knew he would be back there, but I thought he would have spotted me up way over there. I don't even know where he hit that HE. The corner of my turret, I guess? No way. He hit the corner attachment. That's like such a small shot. That's stupid. It's going to be a draw. There's no way this dude kills the SU and there's no way the SU kills him in time. So sad. I had 5k. That was a 6,000 plus damage game easily. Oh, SU failing a heat shell there. But our Chise is just fluffing. Like, he needs to pen three shots in a row to make this work. Bro, bro, bro. Don't let the SU run from you. Pen all right, all right, all right. If he pens every single shot here. Oh, SU damages himself. Okay, don't shoot the mantlet. Just shoot, just shoot a AP. Okay. D will he be able to pull it off? Will he be able to pull it off? Coming up next, 
Will he do it? Oh, he clutches up. Okay. Ah, that SU's so lucky. Darn SU's, man. <laughs> At the time, I had the, all right, I did five and a half thousand damage. Uh, SU did 2.7. You get the lucky. You get the lucky. The SU's gun ain't that accurate, boy. Yeah. Fist bump, fist bump for the Chisei, because he actually clutched up in the end. Shout out to Chisei. He penned all three of his shots at the end and won. Good for him. Giga Braid SU. SU gave participant medals. Giga Braid SU, but the SU didn't get the dub. He didn't get the dub, man. So uh SU not so Giga Braid. He just wasted everybody's time to die anyways. <laughs> oh man. I'm a little I'm a little disappointed. That could have been a really high damage game. That dude got so lucky. He literally hit the HE on like the Bare corner of where my tur turret attaches to my hall, which I think is like one of the small areas you can HE the tank. Like, bruh. He could have hit my tracks, my hall, my gun, anywhere on the flat part of my turret or front. <laughs> but good, jo good job to the Chisei. The Chisei clutched up. <laughs> Bad players pulling the Giga Brain gameplay, but was it Giga Brain? Just saying. Was it Giga Brain? Because it ended up on the same result. Man didn't even pen a single shot after on the Chise, because Chiseis have like stupid amount of armor for a 270D to deal with. This ruined your gameplay. Essentially. I can't believe he just wandered all the way over there by himself. Like, bruh. <laughs> all right, let's see who's going uphill. All right, no one? We're going to be a little aggro here. Now, I know someone's at the entrance of hill. Okay, it's a Shkoda. Oh, no, it's a 54. Oh, no, this was a mistake. I, I thought, okay, if you're going to take the hill, take the hill. Don't. Don't take 10 billion years taking the hill. All right. Uh, 54 does die for that. I still have a good position. I'm not too worried. I just have to wait for these dudes to get distracted eventually in a couple of years or so. And then I'll just farm them the moment that happens. Although you can see as this Emil has his heart out for me. This dude doesn't want to do anything. Oh, oh, 440 to the type here. And oh, no, apparently, apparently his flat side cannot be HE'd, even though it was great. Very nice. I guess that's part of his tracks then. All right, let's see if this uh, Type 68 gets a little aggro on me here. He, he might really want to try shooting me. Bop, he goes down. Nice. So he gets taken out. That leaves the Emil and Skoda over here. It's a little bit of for this dude's turret side. Oh my gosh. Very lucky. This is going to be a sweep game, dude. Look at the matchup. They're tagging through spot sniping. Their heavy's already, like, dead. It's over. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if maybe we can at least HE farm this SU. No, he's already down. He's already going down. The game is broken. What HE? Enemy oh, maybe. Oh, no, it's uh, <laughs> my farm. Wee. <laughs> this is so sad, ladies and gentlemen. This is very, very sad indeed. All right, lower plate. Yes. We got 2K out. Skoda, get Papa some farm over here, okay, buddy? Yeah, that's right. No, no, no. I didn't say you're allowed to shoot at me. Just shoot, shoot the scent. Good man. Very good man. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, this thing's gun elevation sucketh. Okay, there we go. Oh, 550 max roll. Yes, let's go gamer. Pulling out 3K barely. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> Almost 200 likes. Thank you so much, guys. Do appreciate it. All right. Well, we turned an absolute sweep two minutes and 15 second game into 3K somehow. Wow. Very cool. How do you ski? <laughs> what is that? I'm sorry, isn't bad because... It's what I have. Hey, you do, you king. All right. Um, so far, we have a 91% win rate, 3,289 average damage, 21 games in. Tell me the tank isn't a little broken. I want to see your big brain arguments. Validating why. Insane win rate with insanely good average for a tier 8 tank destroyer. <laughs> that I'm not even sniping in. <laughs> Fat is, I have to ask Deard. What is that on your face, bro? Bro, it, it's the fatness dash. It gives me plus 10 RNG points. It's super busted. I would highly recommend uh, upgrading your vehicles with one. Ace ever. <laughs> I know, this thing is so so easy to ace. All right, let's go the other direction. I don't feel so confident going med side. If both their G-Stores go over here, it's going to be a real pain. Um... I'm going to sit back for now. Let's find out what most of their team is doing before committing. The only reason I'm going to do that is if I get super aggressive with the scent, I can't run away. Like, this tank has way... It'd take me, like, 10 years to traverse around and then accelerate it fast enough to escape. I'll be dead. But looking at what our T-44 has spotted, which is nothing, and also controls flicking out. Very nice. The enemy team did go town. Okay, that's cool. So the enemy team are in the factory area, which is fine. 
I think I can just kind of take it back and see if I can find a mid position to farm them out in. 5482 Shark pulls into safety. Good for him. It looks like our IS6 and Emil are just being absolute gamers over here. And I think my allies are just going to kind of push in from behind. So let's see if I can provide some assistance to our IS6 at least from kind of the entrance here. It looks like, oh, it's a T20 prototype. All right, let's aim this in. One has shell. Oh, 450 damage dealt. We can load up AP and he's dead. The dude had no clue what happened. He turned around and he was dead. Dude was just driving. Just big chilling, you know? And then he turns around and just blows up. All right, one hash kill into this dude. All right, 54, you shoot shark. One hash shell into the top of this tank there. Waffentrigger, please don't get in my way. Thank you so much. Okay, this tank has okay reverse speed. Looks like it's about 16 and with decent acceleration. All right. So me and the SU, kind of just big chilling over here. Uh, it's just the two of us, so I should be careful. I believe the G-Sort is with this shark, sharky poo. It looks like the enemy Chimera is just big brain sending it. Oh, one HG shell into this man's. And let's save our shells for the enemy's RU. One HG into him, 472. Look at this gun go. I'm starting to pull back in case that G-Sort and shark get any kind of, you know, bright ideas of yellowing into me. Uh, SU, you gotta watch your, you gotta watch your back, bro. Yo, watch your back, watch your back! Okay, and so g Sword over here getting a little over aggro. He gets hashed to Oblivion. SU, lower plate, max roll, 390, okay. You know what? I have full hit points, brother. Allow me to bring you your saving grace and YOLO in and take the shots for you. I got you, fam. I got you. Boop, 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 boop. All right, buddy. Let's see how this goes. One hash shell, 470. Second hash shell, two damage, or 21. 3,600 damage dealt. What a close game. GG. <laughs> it's so easy. This take is so easy, dude. It is literally so easy. Just don't YOLO in and get yourself killed, and you're fine. Like, okay, I, I know that's asking a lot for, like, a giant proportion of players in the server, but trust me. Just take it a little easy, and uh, position yourself where there's a little bit of farm, and you will farm 3k no problem in this tank. Also, super easy to ace. <laughs> Your fatness stash is beautiful, by the way. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Do appreciate it. <laughs> Mutual gameplay is really fun to watch. It's such a glass cannon. Tom, glad you're enjoying. Thank you so much. Premium tanks are now broken. Fatness, that's what we're going to never nerf them. Exactly. They just set the standard for the rest of the vehicles of the tier, which in a couple of years beat that standard, by which case new premiums have already replaced that standard, and it's a perpetual cycle. All right. It should be nerf like Charger, nerf hash. I think hash pen should be like 140. That would still be relevant. As hash? Okay, maybe like 150. 170 base hash is way too much, though. Like, that, that's just ridiculous. 150 would be okay. Um, and I think that would actually balance out the tank quite well. Ooh, a wild Dracula full sending it in to the middle here. Oh, we got an IS-3 defender. or oh, just a regular IS. Okay, well, we fluffed our shot on him because we suck. Right, let's put a blind shot in in case there's a TD there. I don't know if we hit anyone, but it's always worth checking. Dracula going into the mid here. Interesting play by Sir Dracula. I think what we can do here, as you see, we have all these homies just chilling up top. Dracula is, well, he's pulling out, but it looks like the enemy's attention might be just a wee bit split. Oh no, why did I have to pull out right now of all times? Please pull forward, Tiger. Pull forward. You have to pull forward, right? He's gonna do it. I knew it. 400 HE, and oh, barely hitting low. It's because I shot on the move. My radical wasn't aimed in. Still, at least we hit that second shot. Probably should have shot AP. It would have been safer. Huh. Enemy team are just goodbye, Tiger One. Farewell. Have a good day. I'm gonna go deal with the, with the Waffentrigger. Waffentrigger's just like I'm big chilling, brother. I'm like, haha. Take uh, take 700, 800 damage to the face. Okay, Waffentrigger's a two shot. Looks like a defender and shark should be able to hold there. I'm not worried about losing the right side. We will lose our Tiger eventually, but we should still be pretty chill uh, in terms of the game. Let's see. Here's the Waffentrigger. This dude's just lost. Oh my goodness, I am scammed. I, just, I was trying to catch him on fire, so I shot Hesh for the second shell there, but uh, maybe I should have shot Hesh for the first shell. All right, so Waffentrigger making the big escape here. Enemy Drac and a little bit, uh, get a little aggro. Yeah, playing it just a little aggro. I think, um, I think we can, uh, we can fix that. One Hesh shell into the rear of his turret here. Yoinkers, and he gets brought to a one shot. Let's reload our magazine. Enemy team are just, yeah, all over the place. Okay. G-Sword YOLOing in. We know where the G-Sword is. Lova's up top. Waffentrigger's just chilling down here. Waffentrigger's just fired. Um, we can probably pick up a kill on this homie here in just a second. Bop, quick shell to him. G-Sword's just gonna get ripped apart and accidentally shot two shells in a row. 
And so I reloaded my hash by accident when I could have killed the G sword. Oh well. Alrighty. TVPVTU making a break for his life. Dude's just trying to survive. He's just trying to survive and thrive. We have a wild shark over here and a lova atop. Lova's a one shot, shark's 1600 HP. I must farm the shark to get damage out here. So we're gonna yell for our dude in the ditch. I should be able to three shot him if I pen all my head shells. Um, that dude's gonna keep the uh, lova down, I believe, because he's the one keeping him at bay for most of this game. And I'm just gonna YOLO in and hopefully get some nice HE farm on wherever Mr. Sharky Poo is. I have a feeling he's pulling back up toward the mid here. Precisely what he's doing. Mr. Sharky Poo is gonna find out the hard way that my tank could just hash pen him. Well, never mind, not not through there, but through the lower plate. Boom. And so we done we done fluked that a little bit. On tanks like the E5 and 57, you usually could pen hash through a position like that, but uh, I guess the shark just has magical drive wheels located there that you can't pen. Oh well. All right, let's put a quick shot to this dude's side here. And you know what? We'll aim for his engine deck here. Oh, of course I hit his gun. Scammed. He wasn't even blocking that shot, or at least wasn't even trying to. There's no way this dude wins though, so we should get the dub still because our 25 to use big healthy and our shark is as well. Dang, I should have had way more fun with the shark. I don't, that is just so unlucky. He wasn't even trying to block the shot. He was just driving out sideways and trying to turn and his turret just so happened to block it. Bruh. Hey, yo, what's up, bun? Welcome back. <laughs> Delete this message. What? <laughs> we still got 3k on the end. I won't be too mad. Could have been higher, though. Could have been higher. <laughs> All right. Uh, the G-Store turret looks like Alien Queen's head. Nah, dude, that's the M5, yo. <laughs> Um, I was never really big on the Alien Predator franchise. Uh, I see. Fatness equal SU. LOL. Huh? How am I an SU? <laughs> My message didn't get deleted. I, I got you, fam. I got you. Banned. I'm just kidding. I, I didn't ban him. I just deleted the message as requested. All right, we're gonna snipe for this one. It's it's a uh, canal. We have heavy tanks spotting up the crossing, which is really good. And we have the shell velocity to just go ham with hash and snipe. So T34 should spot up the enemy team pretty soon here if they're going this way. Now they have a lot of heavies. There's no way they're not sending at least some here. This Tiger 1 looks like he's about to have a really bad day. 1 HE to the Tiger, 480 into him. Lova is getting a little scared after seeing that Tiger lose like 500 HP there. Enemy is Panther 2 playing a very aggressive game. Interesting. Um, but I guess the enemy heavies aren't going to cross just yet. I probably will just reload the magazine. It's only 14 seconds to reload. So, uh, no! Why? Why do you... Why? Why is it the moment I start reloading, you decide to big brain YOLO? I can't understand. It's like they have telepathy and they can read my mind. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One hash shell goes into his lower plate. How sad. Second hash shell does pen. Apparently, I got spotted. So, this tank's camouflage rating isn't so good. Okay. So, we've got an okay amount of damage to start for starters in this battle. I think I know the play here. We're gonna just like be absolutely big brain on these dudes. We're gonna use these bushes as cover. Okay. They will never find me. They will never know. They will never know. Okay. Uh, this dude's going down. This tiger one's being like really aggressive here. This motion is trying to yolo into the mid here. Has shell number one. Unlucky. Has shell number two. Oh my goodness. I didn't correct my reticle in time. I am a Muppet. Apparently I get spotted for that too. Okay. Um. Okay, yeah, very, very cool indeed. I know this tiger is going to get a little aggro for me, as uh, all good tiger players uh, do enjoy doing. Oh, hello, one hash on to your side, maybe? Oh my goodness, I am getting scammed. I am straight up getting scammed at this game, guys. He gets taken out anyway, so I guess it's not the end of the world. Is this tiger still peeking? Of course he is. Yo, does someone want to kill this tiger? Like, I don't know, 53 TP who can just sit there in front of him and I literally just nuke him for days? Hey, uh, 53 TP, tiger. 53 TP, Tiger. 53 TP. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Now you get it. Now he gets it. Let's go. All right. So he bought 400 there. I've been a little bit scammed by the gun this game. All right. Let's hit this one. Nice. This has shell goes in. Second one goes in. Oh, yes. There we go. And now we have 1,800 damage dealt so far. That was a bad kind of streak of HE shots there. How unfortunate. That VK big braining on me. Mostly because my uh, I didn't aim up fast enough there when I was trying to shoot at him. All right, we have this tier nine Fosh here, one HE into him, and well, he he's already dead. Very nice. Fern on SCO on the flank. Tiger's about to go down, so I guess that's this game over with. If I can pen one more set of HE shots, I should be able to pull out just about three K. But um, 
You know, Ferdinand's probably not going to go down. Oh, actually, Ferdinand might be making a big mistake here. Yes, he is. Stay right there, buddy. Stay right there. Don't you dare run away from Papa Fatness. All right, one HG shell on the roof of the tank. How how are all my shots not going where I want them to? Darn it. 2.9k damage dealt. We still... Okay, the Ferdinand kills this dude. Let's go. Pog Ferdinand absolutely annihilating my teammate. We should still be good. This is why I don't really like sniping in this tank. Like, it's fine, but it's a little bit less reliable shooting Hesh at long distance. So, yeah, your boy kind of recommends playing it more second line than staying in the back. Obviously, I just suck at aiming too. So, not the tank's fault necessarily. Uh, <laughs> for me, I can see it. Hello. <laughs> Scammed by the gun. Pinpoint size VK's lower plate in the same game. But I messed up three out of four shots. This was not good. All right. Yo, this I-6 is level 50. Let's see how many games our man has in the I-6. 8,300 battles in the I-6. What a gamer. What a gamer. Man's has played like a third of his battle career games in the I-6. Insane. 14 likes. Let's go, guys. Maybe we reach that 300 like mark. Thank you so much. All right. Yo, bro, this tank broke good. Even though his AP has 260 pen, 880 hash, alpha clip, and 245 second clip. You dump your clip. That's just three fourths of the tier 8 TDs, HP, and one half of tier 8 meds. Yeah, dude. I've double clipped out tier 8, tier 8 heavies as well. It, it's insane. Yo, fake fat, fake fatness master badge. Let's go. Yeah, the, the ace ratio in this tank is kind of insane. <laughs> Mom's basement occupier. Hey, yo. Need fatness, no life. Oh, is that- are you referring to yourself? I see how it is. All of the RNG was used on the VK Lord plate, lol. Bruh, for real, bit actor gamer. <laughs> Alright, guys. I have a plan. You know what? We don't snipe. Sniping's for the uncultured, uncool people. Let's go. I got a homie from the ghetto over here. Mr. Um, Chupapi, I guess? In the 54E shark. He's gonna come with. We're making the ditch push. Yes. Yes, this is usually a play I reserve for medium and light tanks. Do I care? No. We're full sending it because I don't care. Bulldog spotted up. Yag Panther spotted up. Bulldog in the open. Gamer Bulldog taking 370 for the team. Gamer Bulldog getting ready to take more for the team. Gamer Bulldog takes another 370 for the team. Boom. Instant farm piece of cake. Couldn't have done that if I was spawn sniping. Let's get ready to see what gamers they have on encounter cap. This is where the fun begins. Okay, I should be unspotted. Type 62 is back here. Oh, that's the Tiger 2. Oh, 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 hey, that was so uncool of you. Take one head shell through the side. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Their whole team is just like ratting on me. Why are you guys all looking this way? You're literally getting yoloed from town. Do you not care about the fact that you are gonna die? Oh, this Tiger... He's so easy to read. This dude's just going for the YOLO. It's easy, guys. It's easy to read. So I just have to pull down. Back to this corner where I'm safe. And let's let's see if we can kill this Type 62 real quick here. I'm sure he's going to try and shoot at our homie here. Aw. Didn't quite pen the hush there. Unfortunate. Uh, our shark is just kind of big-braining on people in the back over here. Let's see if I can keep kind of keeping this dude safe for now. Okay, he's gonna try and run away. One has shell. Boom, he gets taken out. Alright, Tiger is... Well, I mean, he didn't full commit. I thought he was just straight up gonna send it for me, but he didn't. That's interesting. Um, their heavies are kind of gaming on my heavies. Whatever to be expected, I think. This Tiger too. We're gonna wait for him to get distracted and pull forward a little more. Or shoot at someone else. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, yeah. Get distracted, buddy. Get that distraction going, buddy. Alright. And our gamer tiger pal is up in the mid here. And let's put one headshot to the top of his tank just to show him who's boss, you know? That way we have our max roll loaded up for our next shell. Let's pull back for a second here. My team is being a little bit a little bit passive. We got we got homie awesome one in the tiger one over here. Dude's just chilling, not really doing anything. Uh, our 54 e shark though has started pressuring on the outside, so good for him. Looks like this T28 HTC is just having a really bad day. Um, VK100 pulling in a little bit on my left here. Tiger gaming in the mid. VK is also gaming in the mid. Let's stay unspotted. VK fluffs his shot. VK is ready to get that HE max roll. All right, boys. Do we believe? I believe. I do not believe. I believe now. Okay, I do not believe. It was gray. Boo. <laughs> I could have probably AP killed him there, to be honest. Nice SU. 
Alrighty. Well, this game is over with, isn't it? This was a bit of a, a weird game. I didn't think the whole team was just going to pause in the mid to shoot me there. So that was it. Yeah, I actually lost way too many hit points off the bat, which made me a little scared to play aggro. But it's not the end of the world. Mr. Mr. T32 just chilling here. Oh my goodness. Look, look, that was right on his lower plate. No. Okay. He goes down. Tiger's going to go down before I can farm him out. So I guess it's GG. It's whatevs. I thought I would farm a little bit, but uh, I don't think we're even pulling out 3k here, boys, ladies and gentlemen. He wants to like append a shot before anyone else. No! No! Ghetto stealing all of my damage! Only 2.7k dealt. Could have been much worse. <laughs> All right, 2,770 damage to each whatever. Uh, 3,280 total, 25 games in, 92% win rate. Not bad. Oh, Vinograd. Привет. How's it going? <laughs> this, uh, that thing reminds me of Charitarian back in the gold old days. Really good. I agree, Vinograd. It's, it's insane. <laughs> I was thinking RJ and Queen or something. What? He vanished to shot VK lower plate again, took all your RNG. You guys are onto something. So, what you gamers are saying is what I shouldn't be doing is shooting VK 100 lower plates till the very end of the game. That way it stops us sucking all of my RNG away from me. That would just, uh, I, think that's, I think that's the problem we have, guys. Enough shooting VKs with HE through the lower plate. For now. For the time being. Let's go hill. Most of my team's headed hill, so I don't mind taking this play. We have a lot of meds and lights, and, you know, it's a tier 8 matchup. I don't take these quite as seriously as a tier tier 10. I think I'm just going to full send. We're going to pull into this bush. It'll provide me initial camo. And no one's been spotted up. Cool beans. And that means when Mr. Progetto goes to reset me on C-cap here, I'm ready to dish some dish some damage on this dude. Oh, T49 being quite aggro. 450. He has a damaged Abarak. Oh, 418, T49 losing all of his hit points in a matter of seconds there. That is where this hash is just crazy dangerous for the enemy tanks. Chise becoming a little bit more involved on this front flank here. We will keep an eye on him, but I think we can pull back on the C here. Wait for some gamer to get a little over aggressive. Okay, Helsing pens a single shot onto me. Oh, wow, apparently that tank has armor that I can't deal with. T49, don't you dare. Okay, T49 isn't daring to. I do have this uh, charioteer here. I'm just being a little passive, which is unexpected. Oh, guys, our Ch Chi Chimera, why are you sitting there? You're literally keeping no one down in that position. It makes zero sense. Be a little more useful, buddy. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. good job. Good job, buddy. Oh my gosh, is this dude just going to straight up YOLO for me? He's YOLOing for are you? Okay, that's, that works for me. All right, one has shown to lower plate. Boom. Nice quick kill. Stay safe from the Progetto and Chise. Very nice. We are currently safe. All right, very cool. There you go, there you go, guys. See, I was pushing up with the chieftain here under the assumption you guys would be a little more helpful, and now we're working just well. 415 to the side of the chise, and 550. I mean, that's that's over a thousand damage into that poor dude. Well, not quite over a thousand, but almost a thousand damage with a couple of shots. Like, don't you just feel bad for that poor dude? Oh no, we might die to this progetto. Do you know what? I want my farm. One has shell here. Oh, oh, we got the hash shell. Maybe engine deck? 448. Let's go. 3.6. Oh, yes. Wiggle for me, queen. Oh, man. If only I had a fire extinguisher. <laughs> he goes down. Uh, a little bit of tunnel vision on his part. He could have ran away and not taken those hash shots and probably farmed more. But in the end, there's no way he's really going to win this. Not bad. We got the good old damage out. That's what we like to see. But it is saying that you're really good with hash rounds. What? Bun, stop lying to me. Kadu is always like, fat, you stupid, shoot so much hash, you stupid player, you. I right, good, thanks for asking. I traveled 1k kilometers by train and got off like an hour ago. A quick shower and I'm ready to take friends. Oh, have fun. That's uh, quite a long, quite a long train, quite a long train ride. So uh, enjoy. Almost at 3,300 average at 93% win rate. Goodness, guys. What is this tank? So stupid. Never experienced 20 ping in what's B. You know, I didn't for a long time, and the Wargaming like changed the NA servers somehow, and my ping got way better. I love watching how you play on you so early OP. Ah, see about Shrey. Yeah, I've been a grad. <laughs> we say it's a good idea to camp in, th in this TD. Um, that 
purely depends on your skill set. If you are not very confident taking delicate tanks into more advanced positions, more aggressive positions, then probably sniping is more ideal. Uh, but if you feel like you have a firm grasp of kind of map control, where to position a vehicle to deal damage safely, and kind of paying attention to what your allies are doing and stuff like that, then sure, you could definitely play it more aggressive. But I, you know, in the end, when it comes to tanks like this, it's usually about just how confident you are in your ability more than whether the tank can or cannot be played aggressively. Cause you know, I play the 4005 as a second line tank, right? And technically speaking, that's a very classified, that's classified very heavily as a sniper. Um, enemy conf funds are over here. Dude's just big chilling, getting kind of nuked. I wanna see if this enemy G-Sword gets spotted up. Oh, hey, what's up Waffen Triggers? Look, look, at the, look at the homies here. Look at the homies chilling and spawn. We're just waiting for this G-Sword or Confanzer to mess up. All right, Confanzer. Oh, almost pending the hash on the roof of his turret there. We also have a wild Lova pulling right on into the open here. I won't have the gun elevation, me thinks. Not quite. All right, Lova getting nuked. 50 TP. And I need to pull down before I get spotted up and nuked by everyone. <laughs> no! I was hoping to use the Waffen Triggers as meat shields, but oh well. Okay. Let's see. Okay, 50 TP's back here. I wonder if we can hash, hash snipe his hatch. Let's see if we can make it happen. Not quite. All right. Um, probably better farm in their spawn. This game is not going to be very high farm in anyways. Ooh, there's the chimera. Interesting. Let's see if this chimera does anything soon, sooner or later. Ooh, there's the FE301 as well. I'm going to just pre-aim for their chimera. He's the one I'm more worried about. Or maybe their FE301. If we high roll two hash shells here, we might be able Okay, we definitely could kill him with two high roll hash shells. Only issue is I can't really make any plays just yet. Not in our spawn. I'm trying to hold defensively here with the Progetto. Kind of the main issue is we don't have any vision though. Except for a Progetto who's playing very passive and I honestly can't blame him. So, let's see if we can spawn anyone up from here. Oh, interesting. Chimera gets spotted through the bush? You gotta be kidding. There's no way I got spotted through that bush, right? Alright, enemy Chimera getting a little more aggro through here. That's to be expected, I guess. Most Chimera players like to play a little bit aggro. I'm gonna pull back just a wee bit, Waffenträger. And we can work down this Chimera together. All right, one has shown to his lower plate, but the gun says, no you. Another one to the lower plate. Oh my goodness, getting scammed by the gun. Chimera playing super aggressively. He should have lost like 800 HP there. I'm being left on a one shot, but so is the way of RMG sometimes. Waffenträger. Oh, just Lova's in the open. One rear HD shot. What on earth is my gun? Okay, apparently the second one goes in. All right. Goodness, getting scammed by the gun. Dude, that was the flat side of a Lova. How'd that HD not pen? The first one. And then, of course, the Chimera getting a little lucky here. Chimera's gonna catch me off guard. Nice play by the Chimera, I guess. My team theoretically could win this, but I'm not super confident in this Waffenträger from what I've seen. He's just gonna sit here and die. If he shoots the Chimera, that's good, but he's definitely gonna fluff it. I think these dudes are gonna lose. Yeah, our VK is, doesn't have enough hit points. Oh well. Kind of a throw on my part. Yeah, I just don't like sniping. I, yeah. I tried sniping this game because I felt like their team was just gonna yell into the open and I could farm them. But I should have just pushed in aggressively like I usually would. It would have been much better. This gun is just trolling me every time I snipe with it, I swear. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Very, very gamer team. Good game. Good, um, well played to the enemy team there. I definitely didn't have a good game. I kept getting trolled by the gun over and over again. That Chimera is so darn lucky. He should have taken 800 damage there, at least. Which would have meant he wouldn't have been confident the Yolo me there, but oh well. <laughs> uh, rip the 3300 average damage. This game definitely brought it down a little bit, huh? Yeah, only 800. Ooh, that was my lowest damage game in the tank yet. HF, did you uh, know hash stands for HE explosive squash head? It actually uh, squashes when it comes out. Yeah, it's high explosive squash head, I think. So I did know that. I'm not a, I'm not a very professional tank no person in terms of knowledge, but it's it, it's uh, I do know some of the ammunition types. <laughs> oh man, there are level 50 IS6s in the game. Let's go, an absolute gamer inbound. All right, let's think about this. E75, IS6, uh, and M5. Yo, I don't want to deal with those dudes. I'm going to try and help our meds this time uh, on the med side, and hopefully we can find up some damage. Guys, guys, seriously. Patton, Patton and T49, you're versus a single tier 8 light. What are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't believe I have to kind of encourage our meds to push against a single tier 9 light 
When the enemy team have very strong tier 10 heavy tanks, how does that make any sense, boyos? All right, one shell into this dude. Tier 9 light is being very, uh, very big brain. Looks like the enemy IS-6 is having the same kind of idea as well. Is this tier 9 light very big brain, though? That's the question. Hmm. So, honestly, I was expecting their, um... I don't really trust these meds. I'm gonna start pulling back uh, a level here just to get safe. I don't want to get YOLO'd. It happens sometimes. So, let's get to a safer position. Our heavies are doing okay on the heavy side. I might just support them instead. I don't really trust these meds, dude. Especially if they have a Conway and an IS-6 is chilling there. With their object being a scout. I want to play it a little more safe and just go heavy side. And so we'll just use our very good mobility in this tank to eat around the corner here. And get ready to deal with the shark. So the shark's probably going to take 500 from our Conf Panzer here, I'm sure, any moment now. You got this, Conf Panzer. I believe in you, buddy. 1390 Hessian to the top of his tank here, and he's dead. Nice. So we get a nice quick kill on him. Very good. E75 is kind of isolated. SC130 is on the flank, and we know the Conway. Oh, the IS6 came all the way back for me, apparently. Instead of committing to the flank where his team had an overmatch, he went all the way back to the heavy side. Can't really explain that, but um, in the end, that means his meds are actually going to lose this engagement here, which is kind of funny. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. IS6 being a little aggro around the corner with the yo. They're scared of me. They know I'm in the vicinity. If they do decide to full send it for me, there's really not much I can do about it. So let's wait to see what this yo does. Oh, the yo is just going to full send for me, isn't he? Typical. 480. Oh, of course you roll 480 as well. My goodness. Heavies, what are you guys doing? You should have pulled back instead of yoli D75. Oh my gosh. Dude, these dudes are doing such a bad job on D75 too. I think they still have a chance of winning this if they focus out the yo first. Oh, the yo's distracted. Confines, you gotta take a shot here for our Type 68, or it's game over. Oh, the yo didn't even reload his magazine, did he? He didn't. Oh, why, why are you guys focusing the tier 8 heavy? No. No, you guys are not big braiding. Oh, my allies. This is what I get for trusting my heavies, dude. I didn't think they were just all gonna just full send on an E75, but do absolutely nothing about the I6 and Yo in the mid. I should have just ran away from there when that Yo pulled up. Okay, good shot. Oh, good <laughs> type. <laughs> what am I watching? Oh, our T95 is AFK. Well, that explains a lot. No wonder we're losing this, boys. Um, Demon416, please wake up and help. SOS, your assistance is needed. Okay. Uh, Conf fans are picking up a kill there. You know, their Conway just has way too many hit points. If he kills the SU first, he's doing this right. But it doesn't matter. He just, he's dead. He's dead anyways. GG. <laughs> oh my gosh. Of course our T95 is AFK, dude. <laughs> Why? Why do you have to be AFK? This game would have been so easy if you were just there to support heavy side. Ay ay ay. I guess I should have just stuck with meds. I didn't think their IS-6 was going to rotate all the way back when he was over here. Um, their Conway and SU-130, I guess we're able to win that one, that, uh, 2v2 over there. So GG's to them, but, uh, this is gonna take forever for them to kill him. I guess we'll wait for him to die. I shall rechat while I wait, though. Guys, please kill him as quickly as possible. Don't, he's AFK. What are you scared of? <laughs> please wake up and kill them all. Please. Oh my gosh. His gun is, I guess, facing straight up. I guess he never loaded in. His gun never dropped. So, he never loaded into the game. Very nice. <laughs> uh, see you, Vinograd. Take care. <laughs> Get him! There we go. Ay, ay, ay. Heavy tanks, man. They took forever to kill the E75. Good, good job to the enemy E75 for staying alive there for so long. Um... Our T49 didn't do very well. Our Patton only doing a little bit more than me there. I low key don't think this super squishy. <laughs> this thing is mostly super squishy. No, no, no. The gun's really good. But if, if your team is absolutely like, um, if your heavy tanks are not very aware as our heavies were that game, then yeah. A heavy should have had the easiest farm of the, uh, like, like clear there, especially once I pulled in and killed that uh, dude. All right, let's jump back into it and have a sip of water. Throat's getting a little dry. And let's see. Progetto's going to cross the corner. I guess I'll support med side here. I don't know if I really want to. Um, but it looks like my whole team's headed this way. So we're going to pull it on into the corner. 
be a little more passive. I guess we broke the 20 game mark, and past the 20 game mark is always when I start playing worse, as is per usual. <laughs> but we can still have some really good games that just happen. Okay. Hello? Oh my goodness, I must have overled the shot just a little bit too much there. All right, this one goes in. Oh, 521. Dude getting game done by HE. I'm gonna pull down low in case they send tanks right there and counter. All right, there we go. That's more like it. So their team is very split up here. I have a feeling once our Pantera goes through mid, they're either gonna just YOLO up top or drop down low. LT432 is over here. Okay, they're probably gonna go back for a Pantera, right? That's the logical play for their team to make. Oh my goodness. I was correct then. They are just all YOLOing through mid. What a wonky play by them. Instead of clearing out our spawn, but um, that's cool. I can just pull on down low here. Start working on this Amex 30 prototype, maybe, as he's trying to run away. See if we can get a nice AP shell into his drive wheel. Not quite. Dude's still trying to run away here. You can't HE the sides of that tank because it's spaced armor, so I'll just shoot AP. And uh, IS-3 getting really aggressive down low as well. Same with the 50 TP. I guess I can pull back from these dudes a little. Interesting plays by the enemy team here. Very, very aggressive by their heavies. I, I wasn't expecting them to really full send it quite, quite the way they were. Uh, 53 TP just getting bonked on by everyone. Put an HE into the rear of his tank here. 470. Very spicy indeed. IS-3. Looks like he's going to start turning his attention in my direction. But uh, lower play HE. 396. So we can pull back. Bait him right into my heavies and waffle. Ah, uh, that's right, buddy. You don't want to yellow into that now, do you? Aha! <laughs> so, interesting, uh, interesting play by the enemy heavy tanks. That, that's, that's the least I could say about this, for sure. Alright, let's get a nice lower plate HE, 455. Another lower plate HE, 360. We've already dealt just about 3,000 damage, and I've had to do nothing for it. This dude just really wants to shoot me, apparently. So, I'll just let him, I don't know, do his thing. Um, yeah, dying, in other words. Right? Boys, you can kill him, right? Oh my goodness, I have to kill myself. Fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> As the mighty Thanos once said, fine, I should do it myself. All right, you're an LT. Hey, buddy, you want to get a little aggro over here? Come on, give me a little bit of that booty. Oh, that tank has like weird kind of like tracks covering his whole side, so that definitely wasn't going to go through. Okay, that tortoise looking like a snack. We don't know where their G-Sort is. Okay, he's back there. Good to know. G-Sort did get spotted, though. He did get spotted. Is the tortoise going to pull back? If the tortoise pulls back, we might be able to hash his sides here. But no, the tortoise is playing the big brain game, so we'll AP his side, maybe. Nope, not able to. Uncooled. All right. You know, my allies could actually throw this. I don't want to die just yet. Oh, they are throwing this. They're all one-shots. No way. Are they going to throw this? Pantera, what are you thinking? It's a tortoise, buddy. No way. Uh, Waffenträger, what are you doing? Oh, what is my team doing? He's a one-shot. But it's, it's already kind of game over for me. They have that LT. Tortoise did, did miss me there. But, oh my goodness. They still have a full HPG sword. That's the problem. Okay. We have the wild LT pulling on in on me here. Okay, he thinks he's a gamer, but he's not. I need to really quickly pen at least a single Hesh shell on this dude. It's already kind of game over, isn't it? It's game over, boys. Oh, how is my team so bad? Why did they all just sit in front of a tortoise? I don't understand. Guys, guys, quick question. There's a, there's a slow turretless TD sitting comfortably in front of you. What do you do? Take one. Sit there in front of him, in front of a 3,900 damage per minute tortoise, and ricochet shots off of his armor repeatedly and die. Or step two, split your attention and try flanking him. Just a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> Fatty not clearing LT. What do you mean not clearing LT? I didn't have a shot on the LT, boy. <laughs> oh man, that team, dude. I had like four allies just sit there and get farmed out by the tortoise. Instead of like rotating out. What was that? That was not very big brain. Okay. I'm gonna go left. I think that's probably gonna work out for me with the ICU, the smasher, and stuff like that. We still at least farmed up that last game. I'll take it. I'd, I'd rather get farmed. RIP to the 90% win rate we had for the last 20 games, though. We would probably drop to about 88% or so, which is still really good for soloing a tier 8 tank destroyer. I mean, tier 8 usually is dominated by tier 8 heavy tanks, so. If you manage to pull anything above 75 in a TRTD, that's really nice. 
<laughs> Fatness common sense is relative. <laughs> Hence, every game has potatoes. I see. Batman, you may have, you may be onto something here. Okay, let's not get spotted just yet because we want to show this dude. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? Take 420 inside. <laughs> 420. <laughs> okay. Um, man, second 420 in the sides here. SU being quite aggro. Allies playing it quite passively, but Man's is once again being really aggro here. 509 in the side. I I mean goodness. There goes like most of his hit points. Also, my ah, my whole team is sitting in spawn. None of them want to move. I think we should probably, for our own safety, just pull back a little bit here because that ICU gets really aggro or something. 1 HE, 450, second shot, boom, 400, he's dead. Chiwi's pulling forward. We've already done 1,800 damage with, like, two magazines, dude. And, uh, RIP to our ISU, he's gonna be blocked by the TVP, so... Our man's probably gonna be out of the running pretty soon here. Here's what we can do from this position. Firstly, TVP and Tiger are probably gonna YOLO around this corner. As, as most good heavy plank players do. 390 into this dude. And we're gonna wait for the TVP VTU to get a little aggro. Put 390... TVP! Stop it! What, what are you doing? Why are you backing right in front of me? Oh my goodness, this player is harassing our whole team and it's not even intentional, which is the worst part, I think. He just is completely unaware of what the tanks are doing on both sides. All right, can't do anything about the Chiri here. SU, can't really do anything about him either. We should be good to win this one, but my goodness, dude, I thought I was about to get nuked because that because that uh, TBP was blocking me. All right, one shot to this dude. Nice, I don't have to waste my max roll here. Let's, let's load up an max roll HG made for the SU. I don't think the tiger is going to be too much of an issue. As he picks up a kill on my allies. Alrighty, alrighty. Alright, he's backing up maybe just a little bit too much here. Same with the tiger being a little aggro. That's cool with me, boys. That's cool with me. I see how you're rolling. Alright, let's 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 wait for this SU to overextend. It's only a matter of time. What's up, tiger? Tiger fires. SU being, being a little bit aggressive up top here. Boom, 380. Oh, we get the ricochet. Let's go. We're bringing him down to a two shot. We've already got 3.3k damage. Only three tanks left. So I could probably just YOLO into the SU and pick up a kill on him. I might take a shot from the Tiger and SU while I'm at it. But I have 700 HP, so I should be chilling. Unless he, like, massively high rolls me. 400 and dead. Nice. Pull back and we're safe. Yay! We got our 4k damage out. Not not a bad game. Definitely pulling back when I did was, was, the, was the reason I didn't just evaporate this battle. Okay, Tiger's just being big brain with my whole team here. Absolutely clutching up. No, didn't get the last kill. Yay! <laughs>
Debating the TDs. All right, hash pad. Oh no, uncool brother. What, 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 what? You don't want to get hashed in return? Ratata. All right, let's put an AP shot to this man. I've got to keep running away though. The whole squad's coming for me. Free. We get me back at the big brain escape. Let's go. Okay, okay, we got them, Jebates. Now we're going to pull out the Yag Tiger. Going to crossfire out their team just a little bit. I'm going to be ready to run away still. But I have a feeling these dudes are going to get a little bit distracted by Mr. X Malice XX over here. The moment that happens, this Yag Tiger is going to feel pain that he has never felt before. 480 damage dealt right into the Amorak. Oh, 427. He loses 850 hit points there. Well, all about 900, actually in an instant. RIP to our mans. Unfortunately, our other big brain Yag Tiger is equally having a very bad day. Now, let's believe in RNG. Let's believe in the max rule. Let's believe in the max rule here. Oh, never mind. RNG still, I still believe in RNG with the fires. T-34-3, a back of the turret Amarak. Not quite, 408 into this mans here. Our Yag Tiger looks like he's about to go down pretty soon. But I was able to get some good farm off of this dude. Very nice. One thing you'll notice, I'm just sitting with my rear facing this way. That way, I can make an easy escape as quickly as possible when I need to. All right, VKB. Dude's homie's just big chilling. Go one through his Lloyd plate. Homie doesn't spot me yet, so let's aim one in. He's looking my way now, so let's run away. <laughs> we are just chilling. Dude, we're being the most toxic little light tank, uh, well, tank destroyer possible. All right, VK just fired. I wonder if we can hush the VK. You know, do we believe? We do not believe. But this should AP pen him at least. There we go. 2.8k damage dealt. This game is a piece of cake, brother. Piece of cake game. Just play with the teammates. All right. Bashantheon going for the Omega Lol YOLO, maybe. Not quite. Ooh. The shark flanked us. Now, he did spot me up. So, I have to watch out for Mr. SC12254. Oop, oop. T34-3 getting a little over aggro here. No, you're so lucky. That was a max roll hash. Oh, went into you. No. Brothers, stop blocking me. No, no, no. I swear, if I die because this dude's blocking me. Oh, that's so unlucky, dude. Both of those headshots should have penned. They were both aimed at weak spots, but I didn't have enough time to fully aim them, I guess. All right. All right, this E-Shark's pulling in. He ricochets his shell off of me here. Track him twice. SU's just full sending it. SU's going to kill the homie. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. Our F-103 is lagging. He's lagging. Back up around the corner. F-103, take the shot for the Hobie, I believe. He takes one out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One has shell into this man's. Looks like they are getting counter pressured here by the T-34-3 and, and the, um, the good old T-54 E-2 shark. Now, I can just keep pulling back into safety right around this corner. Let's reload our magazine just in case. So the moment we get an opportunity to. These dudes are busy farming in AFK when they could have YOLO'd and killed me, but no. You see, that would require big brainery. Something that these players are unwilling to try. All right, SU pulling in. One for the team. Takes one for the team. Takes two for the team. Mans goes down. Let's go. This M103 is actually kind of clutch because these dudes just find them out instead of uh, actually big brainy. 4.7K damage dealt so far. Shark has just fired. I should have the shark easily here on the reload as long as the turtle doesn't mess up. Turtle is getting circled though. Turtle getting circled. Oh no, the turtle goes down, but yes, we clutch the win. And Hesh into your side. Yes, to assert my dominance. Not a bad game. Okay, that was a lot of work. That was way too much work. My team really wanted to throw her. M103 especially. Dude was like, uh, just unplugged his ethernet cable and his PC crashes or something. I don't know what happened. Dale, um, 4.7k damage. Dale, very nice indeed. Um, you know, our tier 9's having a very bad day, both of them. But we got the win and we got the damage. I'm happy. <laughs> so many people say it's busted. Not really. Bad armor, very slow, easy to HE. It's good and annoying, but not busted. Of course, in the hands of a really good player, will be busted, but most players are bad average. Here's the thing, though. You have to understand a tank being busted and a tank being overpowered are like two completely different things, really. Busted just means there's just like a really strong mechanic on a tank. Maybe stronger than it should be. In this case, it's hash, right? Whereas overpower just means the tank is just like brainless gameplay. Like you can just AFK it, right? You know, most overpowered tanks are like that. So I do believe personally from at least how I define busted versus, you know, overpowered and stuff like that. That the tank is busted 
as as is to be understood. But it still it still has a bit of a skill requirement. That that for sure. I should definitely not um, you know pretend that any old player can pick this tank up and they're just immediately gonna have a great time in it. Yeah, you have to know how to position the tank well. You have to know how to pen your shots, know when to use HE versus AP and stuff like that. If you don't, then you're having a bad day. But uh, let's let's watch this Amex 1390 get yeeted in just a second here. Man, just thinking of pulling away. He's thinking about it. I should be unspotted in the bush for now. Can't quite spot me up. Okay. There's a T on my right. It's a WZ 120 GFT. 399 to this dude. Let's pull back for a second. He has a two shot now. However, he has 460 alpha. So let's think of this in terms of logic. Firstly, I'll put a quick shot into this dude's lower play and pull forward. We don't want to take 460 from this man, but now he's so far overextended, the Vickers will pick up a kill on him for free. And now I can yell the bat chat. Instead of backing up in the open where he'd be able to easily pull over and shoot me, we just pulled up to the rock. They had no other TDs I had to worry about anyways. So this was the logical play to make. Oh, dang, coming in. All right, Amex 39 has, has his fall liner. There's no reason to shoot hash at him, is there? All right. Alrighty, already. Let's aim a second shell into him. Oh, that was a really nice kill shot, if I say so myself. Nice stuff. All right. We've already picked up about a thousand damage, chilling on this flank. Now we're just going to YOLO on in to the middle here. Amex CDC is, is about to have a very bad day once our Vickers start shooting at him. I'm going to go farm the heavies because the CDC Liberty over here is going to go down pretty quickly. So let's go for the VK 101P here in the open. Aim a Hesh shell into his side, maybe a high roll, sadly not, but he does go down all the same, so I'm happy I shot Hesh when I did, because he gave me the extra darn, uh, damage there. And the game's already over. I should have farmed heavy side, I didn't realize their heavies would suck so much. So, RIP to the farm on the heavy side, uh, for me. We won't do very much this game, because it was over in just a couple milliseconds, really. But maybe we can pick up this last kill here. Not bad. We got about 2k out. I'll take it. Fast, fast, 7-1 sweep, like two minutes. <laughs> Can I, can I say sub to his royal fatness? Uh, Jason, if you want, but I believe you just said sub to his royal fatness. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> Alrighty. I got 40% rate in it and a couple aces already with 25 average damage on it. The tank is not bad, but in very, very team depending. And somehow on Asia server, peeps don't really understand team. Ah, uh, Asia server problems. Understood. Have a nice day. <laughs> so far, I'm running like a solid like 85%. <laughs> Everyone subbed to his royal finest. Mods, you can leave that one in the chat. It's, it's okay. Because he asked for permission. Although, generally speaking, we don't allow all caps. But, uh, because you're promoting the channel, I'll allow it this time. <laughs> if Fatness was to come here for the game, it was a sweet game. So, not much to say. You suck, Fatness. Stupid, dumb, dirty dog. Where's Fishy? Uh, yeah. I don't know who you're talking about. You mean, where's Fatness 2.0? I want Fishy. Darn it, dog, and just go on RG at Discord and talk to Fishy. <laughs> I'm sure he's there. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go heavy side this time because I don't like going mid on this map. Mid just gets trashed all the time. So hopefully the Cheeto SPG Action X 110, we should be able to hold heavy side here. Luckily, this thing's just fast enough where I should be able to get here before, like, their smasher and stuff if they head to C as well. My whole team's headed C, actually. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully pretty well. And... Um, so far, no big brains spotted up. So their whole team could either be going A or B, or they could just be sitting and spawn. They do have triple tank destroyers after all. Um, there's enemies 54E1. Interesting play. They have tanks on A. Also an interesting uh, interesting play by the enemy team. We'll see if our Action X spot up any tank destroyers that I can bop in a moment. So let's see. Let's go Action X. I believe in you. Interesting play by the enemy team. They're definitely going to be aggressive in our spawn soon. So I don't believe I should rotate out of A. Okay, I'm going to take a gamble. This is risky. I get spotted up in this crossing. I'm going to get nuked. Mm, please don't spot me up. Okay, I'm not spotted just yet. Or am I? I am. All right, 340 into this dude. And 322 into this dude. Let's try and pull up to this rock and stay TD safe for now. I don't want to get ICU'd, and I don't know if they have an ICU back there. I get hit with 415 Hesh. Oh, that's their G-Sore. The g is in front of me. Okay. g might still be looking my way. Oh, 502 Hesh. He's right in front of me. Dang it. I thought I would have spotted him for sure if he was in that location. That was a mistake on my part. Ay ay ay. This is a bit of a risky play if that uh, Emil pulls back to try and shoot me, but I got to pull out from, from where this G-Sore can just dunk on me with no problem. Okay. So we're still, we're still big chilling. Hopefully that G-Sore didn't spot me up. Nice, he didn't. 
Gsor is currently farming out my allies, so I'm going to pull... Now, the Gsor does have great camouflage. I mean, great view range, so I should be able to spot him from the other side there. Darn it. I thought I would have spotted their Gsor if he was shooting me at first. I thought he was all the way at A, which made me think I could pull through the mid there just fine, but that was definitely not the case. Okay. My team are pulling in towards A. We should have rear crossfire pretty quickly here. I just got to be careful not to get shot by their enemy Gsor, which hopefully we're doing pretty good for now. Gsor getting bobbed hardcore there. Uh, losing quite a few hit points, playing it really aggressively, losing even more HP. Unfortunately, my shot misses the rear of his tank there, but I don't think he spotted me up. He might not have spotted me up. Yep, he shouldn't be able to spot me up. Uh, I wish our T49 in action X would be a little bit more productive members of the team right now, because they're just kind of just chilling in the back. G Sword fires again, and he still has one more shot, but I know he can't spot me from back here, so let's wait for him to start pulling forward a little bit. Boom, 497. So it's a close game. Let me start capping A for the sake of my team. Our action X is going to provide all the view range we could need for now. Um, enemy G source is showing up top for, for the time being. Okay. Mm -hmm. We know where their 54 is. Let's cap on the safe side right here. I can't get spotted from the hill or from down low. So we're able to cap A, which is cool. Uh, we can see where their smasher is in the open right now. Let's aim one shell into the smasher side. 399. Let's aim a second shell into him. 399. Nice. We managed to kill the smasher. If our action X pulls back safely, we're fine, but it looks like he's suiciding in for damage. Uh, he does kill the G-Sword, though. The most dangerous tank on the enemy team, which I'm cool with. But at what cost is the question. He goes down. We temporarily have double caps for the time being. Our 49 is still kind of sitting back and doing nothing right now. Which has me a wee bit concerned. I'm going to pull back to a safer position. All the way back by these houses. As far away from where the enemy team can shoot me as possible. Our 49 still is not moving at all. Very big brain. Dude is finally moving out of position here. Here's the enemy's 5041. I'll wait for him to pull in on our 49 maybe. There's the action X. 49 is doing nothing so far. So far so bad. Okay. 49 takes another shot unnecessarily. Once again, 49 just suicides unnecessarily. Very cool 49 player. Um, let's wait for this 54E1. I mean, T54 lightweight here. Boom. All right. We can win on cap. We win on cap. No problem. Unless they cap stall A. Maybe I should reload my magazine just in case. Ooh, they are cap stalling A. Ah, uh, no, I have to kill the SU now. This is bad. Good play by the enemy team going for the caps there. Good play. Wait, you're not going to be aggressive now, buddy? You're so eager to earlier. I guess they're just playing for the caps. Yep. Yeah. Oh, GG. Our T49 was such a bad player that we're going to lose this to caps. If our T49 had a couple, uh, a little bit more bigger brain gameplay, we would have won. But this dude quite literally spent the entire game sitting there doing nothing instead of helping or spotting or, or pushing around picking up kills or anything he could have done. I'd be surprised if this dude even did more than 300 splash damage. 24. Oh man, our, our T49 threw. Ay, ay, ay. What a legendary player that was. By Cypress. <laughs> who? who? Cypress? Oh, well, we'll got to dip. Alright, see you, Cypress. Ah, oh, that was a close game, man. If our 49 had just done anything but die there, we actually would have been able to win that. Which is the sad thing. <laughs> JD is all for him here. Batman, take care. Have yourself a good one. I thought the whole gun was the sword, not just the top. Oh, clever design. I just now realized because I only ever looked at the tank from the top. Actually, that's actually a pretty cool design. I like the idea that the sword's resting on top of the gun. <laughs> makes makes a little bit more sense. Alrighty. Oh, by the way, CJ, Jack, good to see you guys. Bass Fisher as well. Good to see you too. We're going to go town, I think, but maybe just the entrance. I'm not going to overcommit until we have a better idea what the enemy team are doing. They could all yellow town for all I know. Okay, that's the eagle. That's the progetto. They have a Lova that could go this way, maybe. Doesn't appear to be the case. Okay, three tanks are over there right now, including their progetto. I have a couple tanks with me. I'm a little bit aggressive here. I don't. I don't know if this is a great idea. 
since only three things have been spotted up so far. Well, let's see if anyone's in the mid. Let's see if we can just surprise anyone. Just jump over this middle bush and, and give someone a surprise. Oh, the Lova. Interesting. Wasn't expecting the Lova to be back there, but uh, there you have it. Mr. Lova just big chilling. Oh, he unfortunately ricocheted the first shell. Second one goes in though, okay. Looks like our Juto is gonna push in on the Lova as well. Very nice. Okay, I can flank this Lova and we can start itching him from the rear, I think. So, enemy team are definitely hardcore pressuring through this side. And so if we can get behind Mr. Lova, we can easily kill him here in a couple of seconds. One HE into his side here. One kill. Oh my goodness, my allies take him out very fast. Good job to them. Enemy's RHM was quite aggressive. Our 34-100 is the last dude standing on this side. Let's see what this RHM does. We might be able to get a nice Hesh shell into him. Or two. Let's see. RHM pulling forward here. It's not aimed for the fence. 406 there. Another Hesh on this side. 338. He is a two-shot still. I'm going to keep chilling in the mid for now. Enemy team, you can see fences breaking. There's a tank yellowing in right now, right in front of me. So we will keep an eye out for that. RHM should be spotted in just a moment. Unless I don't have the, the view range here. Apparently, I don't have the view range here. But he's not in a position to shoot me anymore. And let's see. Yag Tiger and Pantera are being really aggressive here. Let's see if we can put one quick shell to our man. So the Progetto is just sniping for me, which is pretty adorable. See if there's anything I can do about the, the Pantera. Nice. Quick kill on him. And 4-6 still out of the fight. So I think we should be good to win this. There's the Progetto. Progetto just chilling in the back, waiting for me, probably. Look, judging by where he's looking. Cool beans, brother. Um, this Yak Tiger 88, I think, about that a bad day. One Hesh shell to our man's here. One kill. Very good. That's 2.6 for the damage dealt. Pull back again. I think we should be good to win this game. I think we played okay. Good job to Rajuto. He did a pretty good job kind of playing second line. Second line this game. And Waffenträger has just fired. Oh. Oh, no. They still have a T25 e E1. I didn't realize. No. I thought it was just the Progetto and the Borsig. That was actually a yikes play by me. I didn't realize they still had the uh, T25 too there. Oh, Progetto done messed up though. He's a one shot with Hesh now. All right, one shot with Hesh. Let's go. We'll reload. And, oh, T49 is just going to nuke that. Wait, we had a T49? What's he been doing all game? I didn't even realize we had a T49. Gamer plays by the 49, but he's going to nuke him anyways. RIP. Oh, my goodness. Maybe he was AFK. Oh, he messed it up. Maybe he'll die and I'll get the farm. Not a bad game. I'll take it. Almost 300 likes as well. Thank you so much, guys. All right, I'll sim for fatness. Oi, what is that? I stopped reading after the I will sim for fatness, and I didn't state what you're simping for exactly. I just abuse fatness every stream. Yeah, you're right, dog, because it's the only time you can abuse me. <laughs> that's that's all you exist for, exist for, dog. Precisely. You're just here to add some uh, interesting dynamic to the chat. <laughs> Let's just be as fan as we all be mods. Ayo, hey, it takes a special type of friend to uh, be permitted to do that. Everyone else shall be banned. <laughs> Love you, fatness. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, let's see what we're going to do here. We can go both ways. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess I'll go with my meds this time. Although... Once again, I'm not sure about going this side, but you know what? If our Progetto, Patton, and SU and Cherry Tier all go together, let's full send it. The firm's spicy. Hi, Fatness. Great job on the tournament stream. Chris Johnson. Uh, which one? Are you talking about the one on my channel or the one on the official Wuplist channel? If you're talking about the one on the official Wuplist channel, thank you. I tried my best, even though it was riddled with technical difficulties. <laughs> and uh, if you're talking about the one on this channel, then uh, shout out to F Blitzfish, aka Fishy, who did that one for me. Because my internet was out for 10 hours. Yay. All right. So far, no one's been spotted. So they're either playing really passive or they've gone towards D. They're already on D. So prediction number two looks like it has gone well. 4 a.m. and still 77 degrees. Yikers. That sounds pretty warm, doesn't it? I think enemy team is definitely going to be pushing towards our spawn. Uh, our mill has already been spotted up. 
I don't know if it's very wise of me to go into their spawn because there's a chance they're just going to all send it into ours, especially with our Yo going towards the mid here. The Yo is going to be great bait. Now, they do have triple medium lights, which means if they do push all the way into our spawn, then I could be in a very doo-doo situation. But, you know, let's see if we can do anything about that. All right. Now, at least the FE301, their only light tank, did get absolutely hammered playing aggressively there. And I believe there's a nice little crossfire with my allies. So if I pull up just a little bit further to this corner, we should hopefully have some beautiful crossfire up on the Chimera in a moment in time. So let's see. Mr. Chimera, about to feel the pain. All right. One has shell to his side, 380 to him. And uh, apparently he, he didn't want to take the second one. For, for some really bizarre reason, he didn't want to take the second Hesh shell. So he ran away from that one. WZ120GFT with Blindfire Hesh into his large plate. Up. Uh, I guess he rotated back just in time there. Um, my controls aren't working. Very nice. Okay. Oh, there's a rock covering him. Interesting position. That's a very strong one for him, too. All right, boys. Let's believe in the Hesh. Or is AP going to pen him regardless? Uh, AP will probably pen him regardless. Yep. 1399 AP. And then we do believe in the Hesh. Oh, 512. Taking out, like, 850 hit points off that dude instantly. Enemy Conway's just chilling here. And their whole team's just dead. Wow. Wow. I was playing way too passively. I thought these dudes were going to be, like, big braining and stuff. And, 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 like, making this game difficult. But, nah, fam. They were just, like, death is optimal. Yoink, one has shell onto your side, dude. Yoink, second has shell onto your side. Ah, die, Chimera. It's always good dunking on Chimeras. Well, we will still get some good damage out. Maybe maybe just under 3k. It depends. If this dude has a spawn liner, not 3k. If he doesn't, hey, we are definitely getting 3k out. Okay. Mr. Conway here. Bop. Okay, he has a spawn liner, and that one doesn't pen. How nice is that? So we're doing 2.5k instead. Conway, kill our yo. Do it. Do it for the memes. Do it for the me. What? Are you seriously chasing me down? Why? Why would you YOLO into three tanks when you could have just turned around in this corner? Rip the farm. But at least we get the dub. Great. Lord of the on Grand Final Conte. Ah, thank you. I tried my best. You know, that stream was a bit of a... Oh, we still have about 3,200 average at this tank. No problem. Let's go. Um, that stream was very wacky by uh, good old Wargaming. So... Imagine this, Wargaming have hosts, which was supposed to be Alexandra and uh, another Wargaming employee. They kind of start the stream off, they introduce everyone, they introduce the commentators, they, you know, they talk between games and stuff. And so, you know, I was talking with them before the stream, everything looked fine. They're like, okay, be back on in 10 minutes. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to go eat, eat breakfast and then get ready for that stream. And so I, I pop back on and I'm just waiting for them to do their thing. And then out of nowhere, my face is just... On the screen, like, like just like, just raw face cam, purely on the screen, and I'm like, what's going on? And then I get a Discord message like, go go, you're live. I'm like, uh, I, I had to, do, I had to improvise an opening immediately, which I didn't do the best job at because I had no preparation at all. That was, yeah. And then I was, I really didn't know what was going on like half the time because. Yeah, there was no overlays. There were supposed to be overlays. They had a lot of technical difficulties with that stream. But uh, it was still fun in the end. But definitely, definitely getting caught off guard for the opening was a bit stressful. Because all of a sudden, I have like no clue, you know, how long they're going to do the opening. or wanted it when they're going to transition to the games and stuff. And I was just like, eh. Just wondering about big <laughs> skill difference. Ah, yes. Skill. Skill issue. All right. Is enemy T49. Wasn't that dude in the, uh... Ooh, 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 ooh. This is really aggressive, maybe. Probably a really bad idea, but I can't resist. Oh, yes. 400 hash in the one there. Oh, not quite able to hit the second hash off. Oh, that's a Yag Panther. Ooh, let's pull back before this dude gets any bright ideas. Okay, I guess he's shooting our T23 E3. Smart play by him to focus that dude instead of the tank he can't really shoot. Let's pick up a quick kill on the Yag Panther here, if possible. One quick kill on this dude. One quick HE on this dude's side while we're at it. Wow, how low in the reticle was that shot going to go? All right. No, our Waffenträger is dead. That means if our T23E3 goes out, I'm getting YOLO'd here. Okay. Must keep this dude alive at all costs. But he's not going to be very helpful, is he? Oh, yes. Get wrecked. On the move, Amorak, because we are pro. Oh, and 550 for the next shot. Goodbye. Have a nice day. All right. Well, that 
was a meme. That T49 just hates his life now. One, oh, 338 cheese. Is that a minimum roll? 423 for the second one at least. Oh, yes. That 4T49, man. They didn't answer that in finals. Nah, you had to go to uh, 34 on Twitch or uh, Robert, uh, who streamed NA, but in Spanish, I think, to watch the NA finals. All right. One has shown to this dude's side because we're gamers. Yes. <laughs> All right. Doink. And because I don't care. Or we're just going to YOLO in. <laughs> Ouch. It's in a magazine. I know, right? Rip. Re, re, yellow away, re, I must stay alive. I got this, boys. I got this. I'm a, I'm a pro player. Boink. <laughs> Dear God, Jason, I'm gonna say T49 got the T49 experience. <laughs> uh, it was a great thing, though. You'd appreciate the great. Ah, I do appreciate this for it. Hey, Fattis, um, if you didn't mind answering, what ethnicity are you? I'm the big brain ethnicity, as you can see by the size of my forehead. Confirmed. Ethnicity, big brain. Okay. That was cool. Love Amorak and tanks. Uh, RNG slider straight up right now, right? Oh my goodness. What's up with the Thun content? Does it fork every game? No, it's an iPad Pro issue. So the iPad Pros have an issue like when you're playing Blitz sometimes where it doesn't want to detect your, your thumb, especially in the drive wheel where you have constant pressure and you just can't drive, you get stuck. This like increases the sensitivity and, and touch like, you know, kind of the, the way that you interact with the screen to prevent that from happening. So if you're wondering, it's more because I have iPad issues than anything else. <laughs> Finally, 400 likes. Almost. We're at 318. Let's go, guys. Smash the like button. Support for more RNG and Amorax to make my life even better. All right. <laughs> How much did you pay for the Amorak? Uh, $25. But it was worth it. If it was some of our gun stats to the charioteer. Uh, I don't know, man. But the gun stats really aren't too bad on this tank. Especially for an autoloader. Like, yeah, it could be more accurate. But the accuracy is perfectly fine in my opinion. Very, 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 very big brain. Oh my... How lucky are you? Goodness, man. Some players just get so lucky. He could have... He should have lost at least 750 hit points there. Aye, aye, aye. But, uh, nope. RNG didn't, didn't want to. Didn't want to. And he hit both of those shots perfectly. All right, well, I'll just hold here. Never mind. My whole team's in Narnia. <laughs> I take it back. Uh, let's see. When our TBP VTU starts running away, these dudes should pull, push forward. I can get maybe a shot or two, and then I gotta run myself. Let's see what happens. Boyos, where are you at? I probably should have ran away by now. But maybe I can get one shot at the crossing. Oh, one has shot. 411 into this dude. Second has shot. 490. Let's go. And, um... Now we go for the big brain escape. Now I'm going to run straight to this ramp here. Reason being, if their Borsig is still in that bush, he could cause some pretty significant issues to me. So let's just run away from that. We should be safe now. Cool, cool. Alrighty. The Progetto getting quite aggressive, but he doesn't know there's a T92 on his left. Is he just going to full commit for the YOLO here? Looks like he is. He takes 388 Hesh to the face. Oh, and he gets yellowed. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, dude. I should have just stayed there. Yeah, bro. Way to lose all of your hit points for two shots of damage. Oh, oh yeah. Really intelligent. <laughs> Progetto and T92 are both gaming right now. What is this game? My whole team is refusing to move from spawn. They're providing the worst possible cover fire. I knew he should have backed up because I knew the Borsig would be there. I didn't think he was going to be there, though. Like, down low. I thought he might still be camping up top, in which case I might have been able to back to safety. Um... <laughs> Oh, this team is just abysmal, isn't it? Okay, let's play something else while we wait. We've had two hours of gameplay with this tank. That was just... I, I should have ran away sooner. Totally should have done that. I didn't think that Progetto was just going to send it with my whole team in spawn. He almost died for that because that was a very stupid play. But uh, what, what would be a fun tank to play while we wait in Tier 8? Just straight up for the memes. British tanks? I don't know. I haven't played some of these British tanks in so long. Uh, is there any YOLO tanks I could play just for one game? Chimera, I've already streamed a lot. I don't think I've ever played the Defender. Do I have it equipped? Good enough, I guess. Good enough. Let's just take the Defender first. Spin YOLO someone. I don't care. If I die immediately, I'm just going to YOLO. Uh, and then we'll jump back into the uh, tank. T and I2 had ability rip. Dude, I don't like the TI2 YOLO in front of their whole team. <laughs> for comparison. No, this is just for a single game. We're getting back into the uh, into the G-Star next battle. 
It's just the enemy team. Like, that, that Progetto made such a stupid push with my whole team there, but he got very, very lucky that most of my allies were not really paying attention. He still lost 90% of his hit points, though, for that. So I don't think that was a good trade for him, considering I was only I was already pretty low on HP there. TDs are still team dependent, LOL. Yeah, well, they're team dependent when you're by yourself versus the entire enemy team. Isn't that right? Okay. Ratatas, dude. What is this? Well, I did say I was just going to YOLO, so I am true to my word. We are YOLOing. AMX 30 win peaks? What on earth is an AMX 30 win peaks? Is that the 30 prototype? I've never seen that username before. Interesting. Allies, you guys gonna help out at all? I'm still just gonna yellow because I want to get back into the main tank soon, but I'll wait till I do a little damage so my team doesn't hate me. Of course, they have an M5 yo to spawn sniping. Nice, yo. Nice. For one shot of damage, you lost. Oh my gosh. You lost so many hit points to these players and their pokes. Okay. So, team died. I did 1200. This, uh, this, this, this Progetto, I don't know. So lucky that my team, I mean, our WZ 120 did zero. Our TD did one, three, 500 damage. Our other TD did 800. My whole team was just sitting in spawn doing nothing there. I, I don't know what's wrong with them, but uh, so is the way of Blitz teams. Okay. Back into the big brain tank. That's the 30 Proto Legendary combo. I see. LOL. GG. Dude, I, 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 was, I was telling the truth when I said I'm just going to YOLO into them. But what happens, happens. Because I, I don't want to, like, wander away from the g sword too long. So I wanted it to be fast. Either we just YOLO and sweep them or I YOLO and die. It's whatever. <laughs> I don't really like the Defender Mark one. LOL nub. Yeah, of course, bro. Do you think I would seriously YOLO into five meds when my, only had, my team only had three if I actually knew what I was doing? This is big brain. All right, back to sweaty uh, G-Sore gameplay. Do, 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 do. Looking at how this is going. 54 and cent should have the main hill. I think just because I don't want to snipe in this tank too much, I'll go towards encounter for the start of this game. Hopefully these dudes can spot something up eventually. I'll probably end up playing through the mid at some point, but yeah, let's prepare ourselves. All right, back to the tank we came here for. Let's go. That camp sucks. <laughs> that yo did lose a lot of HP there, though. That wasn't a, that wasn't a very uh, gamer play by him to do one shot of damage on a tank that was going to die regardless in a few seconds. <laughs> All right, here's the 35. We can hash his side. Let's wait for him to England just a little bit more. It looks like that's not going to be the case. One AP shot to his lower plate here. Two AP shells into his lower play will back into safety. Very nice. 600 damage dealt into the 75. Not too bad. Patience paying off. Let's just make sure we don't get hit by their TDs. Good stuff. E75 looks like he is a bit distracted looking my way now. But oh no. What do we have here? A wild T44 has appeared out of Narnia. Ready to get hashed through the front of his turret. All right. 400 into this dude. And 400 into this dude. Oh my goodness. 1400 damage now. Yes. Ah, this thing is so fun. This thing is so fun. Like, I really enjoy this vehicle a whole lot. Even if, um, you know, even though I don't really like tier 8, this one's one of the few that I like. Oh my goodness, barely missing the reload there by a split second. Let's see if the C75 pulls forward once again. He's gonna pull back, right? Hash shot. Oh, 420. Dude, you can hash E75s through the side. That's insane. That's an E75, like, my goodness. It's not a tank you should just randomly be able to hash, no problem. Shkoda looking a little bit aggressive over here. Okay, apparently he has space armor on this side. It's good to know, but the second hash shell goes in. Oh, he gets annihilated. RIP to our mans here. I think I know the play that needs to happen. All right. Here's the big brain play, people. Their TDs are probably not all over here because our KV-5 would have been nuked by now. But I am ready. I am ready for this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 550 max roll hash and dead. 3,200 damage dealt. No problem. Easy collapse. RU251 just big chilling in the enemy spawn. Amex AC48 is just big chilling over here as well. He's about to have a very bad day if he doesn't back up faster. Man's just not backing up fast enough. One hash shell into him. Very nice indeed. Apparently, he just wants to die, so he's dead. Oh my, this enemy team is not very smart. Oh, there's the Hori. Let's go. <laughs> uh, 
The, what's up? Thanks for the donation. I, I guess that was my my uh my compensation for amaracking you. You're the T49, right? <laughs> Message retracted. No. <laughs> I wanted to see what you had to say, buddy. Okay, let's wait for the um. Let's wait for the uh, T77 spot the hurry and then nuke him with Hesh. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, is that an RE251 sniping in the back? Is that our Lord and Savior, Mr. RE251? Oh my goodness, it is. I should have saved my hash for the 40. Oh, re. 4,200 damage dealt. Very nice. Well, this definitely makes up for the last game where I didn't have such a fun farm fest. This was a much more fun farm fest. Very nice indeed. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, GG, bro. Sorry to do you dirty like that. <laughs> but, uh, kind of had fun at the same time, too. Nice. That put me at just about 4,600 damage that game. I wasn't really counting, but I think about 47, 46. That wasn't too bad. Easy farms there. I don't know, let's say it again. Reading his username is a bit complicated, you see. <laughs> the German line tour towards the upper tiers are flat. I know, dude. This tank can just HE anything through the side from Germany in the high tiers. It's crazy. I think the people I see using this tank aren't careful enough aiming the hash. That's true. Yeah. Like, sometimes it's safer to just run the AP and just big chill. Big chill, run the AP and, and you know... Do reliable damage that way. Fanesco. <laughs> Fanesco stab someone with a sword. Do I look like a psychopath, sir? Okay, I'm going to put this in control mode off because our tier 8 Qs are getting a little bit long. How much gold do you think the G sword is worth? I'm a really bad person to appraise the value of a vehicle because, one, I really don't buy tanks. And two, I don't know how much most of the tanks even really cost. Uh, I would say, what, 9,000 gold is a pretty decent price. 10,000 gold, maybe. Maybe. I would throw it out there. Honestly, though, that's probably just a very rad opinion. That is getting nerfed to 9.2. No, do be like that. Alrighty. I gotta go med side. They have a G-Sore as well. Um, and a couple other interesting vehicles we should keep an eye out for, but, ooh, a Moishin and a Standard B and a, ooh, those are very farmable with Hash, so, let's full send it, boys. As for meds, not the best, might be able to outfarm them. If I miss, I yelled you my potential that case, sorry that. Yikers, bro. Yikers. I mean, I guess it worked out because my allies weren't the greatest, but you also brought yourself to 90 HP when you could have chilled and farmed. <laughs> Just accept your fate. Lewis Hamilton over here from Doomed. Interesting. All right, so RT49 just gets brained on, but so so does the RT49, so I guess it's an easy, equal braining session over here. Enemy Charioteer being kind of aggressive. We also have the Action X here being quite aggressive too, but he's just gonna sit back and do really nothing. Oh my gosh, so you can hatch this thing right through the HE, this thing right through the front of the turret. Honestly, I've never looked at the armor profile. I didn't think the 49 would be able to hit the HE there. Very lucky. Because the 49 has awful gun handling that he was able to hit that, like, without aiming at all while driving. I thought her standard B was going to be, you know, a little bit more useful as an ally and actually, well, do something about the T49. But no, he just let the 49 poke all the way up there. Well, that's good to know. Oh, and I did zero. What a gamer experience. Why is there a G-Sword here? I have no clue. That was very gamer. I should have sniped in the back, darn it. I just thought since we had a standard B and a 49, they'd be able to take quarter with me. But no, our standard B is, uh... Very big brain player. R.I.P. All right. That's enough G-Star for me today. I think that's a cue that we leave off. We still had a very solid session in the tank. We'll still have 3,100 plus, 3,150 probably. Even after that game for about 40 battles. And uh, I think, let's see. I have some really good replays I want to show before we do end today's stream. But those are my main account. I, I'm going to go just meme around something. Something fun to meme in before we end. I, got, I, got, I, got, I have an addiction to a tank right now. And I, I can't stop playing it, so I'm gonna feel happy. <laughs> T49 rip. Yikes. <laughs> Go TV. <laughs> that was a rip game. That was a very rip game. Our standard B and 49 decided to just back out last second, and I was trying to reverse back so the 49 next me, and then for some reason they let the G sword just sit in our spawn unspotted. <laughs> the moment I took same control off, bruh. Oh, yeah. Good point. But I don't really care so much. Like, once again, 
This is a tier 8 tank on a press account. If I do zero damage, I do zero. I would have been maybe a little more annoyed if I was on my own account. But then again, it's a tier 8 tank, so who really cares about average? So, time for some memes. In the 4005, my favorite tier 10 tank right now. Yeah, you heard me right. I absolutely adore the living daylights out of this tank. I know, not quite a G sword, but um, we'll have some quality gameplay before we end up the night. And maybe a couple uh, of uh, interesting replays. Or maybe we'll save the replays for the next stream. I'm playing super aggro because I want to. I'm not very smart. Oh my gosh, please have no spall liner. He does have a spall liner. Let's pull back a little bit from here. All right, we've avoided a second shot and he's dead. Very nice. I mean, this tank is just so memes. We did like 1600 damage to this dude in a couple of seconds here. The Kron though, why is there a Kron there? Okay, did that grill fire? I don't know if the grill fired or not. Re, I might have over aggressed. I didn't think the Kron crossed to the corner. That totally caught me off guard. RIP to me. I see, I need the grill to do something. Once that girl shoots at someone, I'm secure. Okay, girl just fired, and I need to run away now. Run away! Re escape. Make the great escape. Run. Yay, we are safe now. Let's go. Alright, so my team are making quite a nice counter push on the other side of the map here. Boy, Kronwagen. Why you gotta be why you gotta be like this? Okay. It's just the Krill and Kronwagen. Maybe I can one clip HE the grill. Hehe, <laughs> that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Hey, Bobs. How's it going? Now, let's watch out. We don't know 100% where that grill is. Let's just see if I got spotted for that. Is the Kron yellowing back for me? Let's see. He might be. He really wants me, doesn't he? Look at this dude. He's hunting. Alright, let's wait until he sh starts shooting at our 1-2-1 one here. Alright, and... Oh, he's dead. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, if I'm playing tier 10, I gotta have same control mode on. What? <laughs> their team was so bad. <laughs> they just insta died. All right, PT their team. Vanish our replays getting deleted on the 17th. Uh, are they? Ah, are they? Well, maybe I gotta do it now. Okay, definitely putting same control mode back on if I'm gonna be playing tier 10. <laughs> just for a few games and everything. And then I'll... And then, okay, I got some GC replays to show you guys in a bit. Once, once the string goes for a little bit longer. That was a very this rat game because their Kron just randomly yelled in to see by himself. The girl was sitting back, so I couldn't move. And then the 405 instantly died, which was fun. But then their whole team was dead. A few same control mode back on. Yep. Mobile players are just bigger brain. Sorry, sorry to do you PC players like this, but players on mobile just don't YOLO as much. <laughs> which makes them easier to play with. But pure tanks can't be nerfed. <laughs> what does the same control do? Uh, it just puts me on with other mobile players rather than players on PC. All right, boys, let's 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 mess up someone's day. 57, Amex 50B, Wandering to Narnia. Um, uh, they do have a grill 405 and, and 183, so I, I'm not going to overextend here. But we'll see what we can spot up. Our 57 should spot up a lot of tanks if he pulls that corner. Interesting. Okay, WZ spotting up a few tanks. 57 getting nuked a little bit here. Let's see if I can spot anyone up by peeking. I don't know if this is a really good idea for me to take this fight or not. 215B being a little aggro here. If, if he gives me drive wheel, I'm going to go for it. Okay, drive wheel one. Oh my gosh, he's so lucky. Okay, at least the second shot hit. Dude, how did I not track him again there? That is like luck galore. All right, that one goes in. <laughs> oh my gosh, the 215 is having such a bad day. Oh yes. That's why the 405 is just so darn dangerous, dude. Wait, where did 57 go? Uh, where did 57 go? Error 404, 57 heavy not found. Hello, 57? Where did you go? Alright, one shot onto the 183 here. But one shot onto this dude as well. Let's get ready to put a kill shot onto the 215B as well, maybe. Uh oh. All right, one more shell into this man's. Uh, once the WZ goes down, is this me, me versus the C100? E100 is perma track for now though, which is cool. Okay, the enemy team is dead. How is their team this bad? Holy smokes, this E100 has no clue what he's doing, does he? 183 just fired. I want to farm damage before this game is over. At least I'm getting some damage out, boys. Let's go. No, don't give it to the 57. Papaga. There we go. 
Oh my gosh, this 205 V's. Bro, what was that? I love the 405, but that game was so fast. No, bro. <laughs> Play G Star, please. I played it for like two and a half hours, so you can always rewind if you want. I'm just having a couple uh, tier 10 brain fix games in the 405 before we conquer to the stream tonight. <laughs> so left thumb, well, like I said, it's, the, it, it, it's for the iPad screen and because I'm always using the drive wheel, no matter what, my hand never uh, leaves the drive wheel during a game. That, uh, that's the one that glitches out all the time. My right hand only swipes to look around and maybe shoot or scope in, but that's about it. Alrighty. But yeah, I mean, we have lots of great G-Sword games. If you if you want to go back and watch those, you could totally do that. I'm just unwinding because tier eight, tier eight does kill my brain cells uh, a little bit faster than tier 10. So we will just enjoy some big brain farmery in the 4005 for little. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. And you're dead. Enjoy your enjoy your enjoy your 9.1 experience. <laughs> this is so toxic, dude. I I've I'm not gonna lie. I have 100 games in this tank in 30 day at like 75 or 73% win rate, and like 4100 average, and that's with platooning in this tank sometimes. It's just such a meme vehicle. There is absolutely no denying its meme potential. All right, I believe. I believe you can get tracked in the open. Boom, one track shot, Enemy even with a repair kit hit. here. No repair kits, does he? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my goodness, retract. Oh my goodness. Like, come on, man. This tank is so fun. This is easily one of my favorite tanks. Two magazines, we've done 2,700 damage, by the way. Like super hardcore gameplay. Oh man. Ah, man, I'm just having so much fun. Throw me in a tier 10 that's just straight up memes like the 405. Even if this tank loses a second on its overall reload, it's still going to be just mega memes to play. Like, seriously. Okay, this game is practically over. So, 1HG into this dude. Okay, he has a spall liner. Second shot. I don't care if the 268 shoots me right now. Apparently not. Hehehehe. <laughs> Let's go, 268. Nope, you don't hit those. You don't hit those. You don't hit those. You don't hit those. Swerve, 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 swerve. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't get too close that he can't hit those. Oh, baited. You should have just looked at the 183, my dude. You could have nuked the 752 or something. All right, ready, Cal, for the win. Oh, easy claps, dude. This tank is so memes. Ah, I'm so happy. Like, I enjoy tier 8, but what really just makes me happy is having fun in tier 10. It's just a completely different experience for me versus tier 8s and stuff. This is why I never play tier 8 on my own account, ever. Except for if I need to do a stream or something, in which case it's usually this, this, uh, <laughs> the press account. Okay, that's not getting nerfed, lol. God level. Don't worry, it's losing one second of reload on the full magazine. Just joined for you bonking that 60 TV fast to go. Hey, Kyle, welcome to the stream. Haxi's like the devil on our shoulders. <laughs> Haxi. I think you're just a dumb dog. <laughs> Madness, where's Bobby? Uh, she's in the room somewhere. She was actually here the whole time. Bobby. Let's see if we can get her. Oh, yes. Okay. Please, someone spot heavy crossing. Please. Come on. It's Canal. It's Canal with the spawn sniping. We got to do this. We got to nuke someone for full HP, like a 57. Come on, boys. Spot A. I believe in you. And here's your bobbers. Ah, uh, I'm just having so much fun in the 405 right now. I love this tank to death. I could play it for like 500 games before. <laughs> In a month, probably, if I wanted to, but probably won't because I have a semester starting soon. Gorilla, you're just gonna hog all of the good positioning when you can just poke forward a little bit more. Just a little bit more, my dude, just so I can kind of shoot that way too. Thank you, G. Because the one issue with the 4005 is it's like complete lack of gun. What are our meds doing? Okay. I have no clue what's going on. Our 1 2 1 and Vickers are just like creating a centipede towards A. I'm gonna help them out. No one's spotting up really, um, the middle that much, but it looks pretty obvious that their team isn't even there. This is an enemy grill. All right, one track shot. Maybe a second shot onto him. Ah, uh, what a waste of my dispersion of reticle. At least he hit a shell onto him. Well, this looks like it's really going to be an interesting matchup here because our teams are pretty much just swapping positions. We're all going A, they're all going D. They will have definitely a difficult time digging us out of our spawn. I don't know if I should reload just yet. Oh, good. I didn't use my shell reload boost considerable at least. I'll save that for a little longer. You wonder it's getting bonked in the mid. 
Enemy Sheridan pushing up a little aggressively. Huh, this is it. Okay, this game wasn't quite what I was hoping because their whole team went D, my whole team went A. <laughs> so, our teams just swapped. It's kind of hard to farm reliably. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is that a WZ running away? Okay, first shot goes in. Second shot goes in. And did we hit the third shot? Oh, almost. Almost. Okay. WZ losing all of his HP in a few seconds there. Well, this isn't going to be a, a good fat, a last game. I can just tell this is going to end up being a sweep very, very soon. I think what I'll do is just follow this Vickers while he goes killing the grill. Maybe he'll get spotted by the 268. Or maybe he will spot up the 268. All right. Full dispersion, I believe. Never mind. I don't believe. Or do I believe? No, I do not. Hmm. Okay. This this was a wacky game for sure. Um, both teams just kind of turning tail and going to opposite ends of the map. 268 is over here. Sheridan's pretty low on HP, so E100 should hopefully be able to kill him when he pushes up for our Vickers. I'm gonna try and stay unspotted for now. Good stuff. All right. I'm sure this 268 is gonna get a little bit aggressive here. One track shot. Two track shot. Three track shot maybe. Not quite. Four shot. No, you're so lucky. That should have hit your lower plate. Oh my gosh, the shot went so high. Still, 268 losing so many hit points there in a few seconds. Instead of going to Vickers, I guess he tried to shoot me, but obviously 268's gun headedly just sucks now. <laughs> okay. 752 getting bonked by people, maybe. Ooh, 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 ooh. Track shot. One track shot confirmed. Two track shot. Another shell to the turret. Oh my gosh, of course you jammed my turret, buddy. But you're dead now. That was not a very big brain play. All right. Hitting track shots is so clutch in something like a 405. Because that's just where you get all of your instant damage farming. Now, our evil hunter is playing a bit of a sussy play here. Because they're 57 still alive. Like, we have to keep an eye out for him. You know, he could get clipped out in the rear. 752 is also doing the same thing. I don't know how I feel about this. I gotta pull back in case these dudes try backing out. Yeah, there's the 268. Okay, let's we'll see if this 268 gets any bright ideas to back out from here. Issues I get outspotted every time. You wonder it's already dead. Very nice meme, dude. Dude, what are you guys doing? You're throwing your tanks away for free. All right, 57 in the open. You take his tank out. Okay, 752 hits a shell. That's really important. Let's real quickly um, kill the 268 in the 121 first. Okay, this WZ-120 doesn't know I'm here. One shot into his tank. Okay, making him a one-shot. This 268 and 121 are both one-shots, though. So, with ready cow, your boy should have this easy. One quick kill on this dude. One kill kill shot on this man's, but I'm dead to their WZ-120. Those bad men. Um, our heavies were just, like, very stupid. I'm sorry. E-100 and 752. YOLOing into D when they didn't need to. And ignoring, like, why didn't our 752 kill the 57? That's what I don't understand. Now, I did pretty okay in the end. Still at 4.6. But, my goodness. Come on, dudes. E100 did 300 damage, as most typical E100 players do nowadays. And 752 did three shots. Very nice. All right, we can't leave with that one. We can't leave with that one. We need a fun game to end it off with on tonight. <laughs> that is a be rude. Where's Bobby? Oh, yeah, where's Bobby? Real quick, while we're waiting in queue. Here's your bobbers. She's sleeping on a book right now. There she is. Why didn't you relocate? You had caps. Because <laughs> I wanted to try and pick up some kills. Well, so I didn't think the 752 was going to die that fast. Dude just obliterated because he didn't pull back when he was on reload. I was like, if he just pulls back, it would have been fine. <laughs> But in the end, even with caps, it would still be a bit risky. Because their WZ120 still had quite a few hit points. So they could just split up, go for different caps, and then kill me regardless. I wish they throw a kill by the 17, even though I'm like you, but I couldn't be on vacay watch want to watch the stream. Ah, we shall see. Almost for likes. Let's go, boys. All right. We're going to mess up a heavy tank's day. Let's go. E100 or Badger. One of those tanks is just going to get wrecked. That's the plan. 40 or 5 time, ladies and gents. Let's go. <laughs> Did he find his Ah, thank you. I tried. 
Unfortunately, if our if our heavies had just pulled back, we would have been fine. Okay, okay, okay. Definitely not this dude, but we'll put a quick shot to this man. One shot into this dude as well. I'm still not spotted yet, am I? Oop, I am spotted now. Ooh, there's our 60 TP. Quick shot to this dude. Let's pull back before that 183 gets any red ideas. Dude, this 60 TP is getting some red ideas, isn't he? 513 max roll. 1,720 damage with that single magazine. I love reticle calibration so much, man. It just makes takes like the uh, 4005 just so, like, bruh. Okay. Oh, there's their 183. Oh, no, E100. Please, 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 please. Okay, let me hit those track shots. Let me hit those track shots. Bro, where did that shot even hit? That didn't even hit his tracks. It didn't even hit his tank, like, anywhere I could bed. What on earth was that? I guess they have a 183 around there. Who knows? Good to always get the check. No, dude. I got lucky on the E100. I don't know where that shot went. We should have tracked him in the open. <laughs> Meta Del Duda Cowboys not OP. Alright, my team's dying. This 215B needs to die ASAP. Same with the 183 and their spawn. 60 TP does have a crossfire. Uh, fast shot the on. Are you gonna move or. I'm with you, buddy. We can do this together. And together we will become rulers. As father and son. Fast shot the on and 405. Okay, um. 183 needs to go down. So hopefully, bat shot helps me. 215B, I think, went up left. Maybe. The 183 should hopefully still be in the open for now. We're about to find out though. Okay, there's the 205B. Oh, you know what? We might be able to pull off from here. Some of the 60 TV is not looking my way. Oh no, I got spotted by the 183 though. I don't really have a choice. All right, one track shot. Two shot. Three track shot. Four track shot. The batch I should be able to pick up the kill at least. We did a ton of damage to him. It was worth taking that for the kill. It was worth taking that to kill the 183, I think. Because now we have control of the crossfires. Now, the problem is the 60 TP will need to go down. 2 and 5B as well. Uh, it's just me and a batch at, really, in the end. That's all that's left in this game here. Now, 60 TP is not really paying too much attention to me. So I need him to back up just a little bit here. Once, he, once, once that dude goes down, just back up a little bit, buddy. Not quite able to pull that off, huh? And our batch out way over extendo. And here's their two and five B, who's been wandering in Narnia all game. I don't I don't know what this dude's just been doing, but he's just been big chilling. Their two and five B was wandering in Narnia the entire battle. Also, this team was atrociously bad. I, I what was he fighting? There was no one on C. Like that dude just like <laughs> But is that like pretty much all the damage he did the whole game? Uh big brain teams, but at least we got decent farm out. Very, very together forever. <laughs> All right. Well, I got 4K damage out. They're 2 and 5B. Apparently did 32. But I don't know what that dude was doing. Oh my gosh. Our 60 TP does zero. Our Piranha does one shot. So our heavy tanks. Oh man. You know, our, our E4 does one shot. Batchat does 600. E yeah. Uh, my team just didn't exist there. They just didn't exist. No farm. Very sad. If they stayed alive a little longer, we might have actually been able to. Um, get mega damage out that game but oh well what do you guys think about the g-soar i think it's very good uh obviously it still takes the right player because it is a bit sluggish and easy to pen apparently with he as well we we'll washed out anything with more than probably 70 millimeters of he can pen you front sleeve but uh overall just a very memes tank the gun is super good <laughs> almost 400 likes let's go guys um what are we gonna do this game i still feel like playing like a vat I'm going to play a little passively in our spawn because our shirt is not going right side. Dang, the 405 is so fast. Man, after playing the G-Soar for like 40 games, it feels so nice to just get into the 405 and zip around at like 40 kilometers an hour. Like, I know the stick back is out of 40, but it has really good traverse and horsepower, which helps a lot. Oh, your, your life is about to get really miserable, buddy. One track shot, one lower shot shot. Two track shot, maybe. They're showing this. Oh, 50 TP. Why? You ricocheted and lost 4 HP for no reason. And you blocked my full clip on him. Boo. What's our Sheridan doing? Sheridan, very big brain. Also, their team is all heavies and tank destroyers. What an interesting lineup that is. Uh, there's a Fosh in our spawn. Whack. Okay. 
me and Badger, I think, are going to go deal with this boss real quick. Oh, Tortoise. All three of their TDs are flanking us? What a meme. Dude, this game is bizarre. There's like, just TDs flanking, Evie's YOLOing. Like, I don't know what's going on half the time. Okay, here's here's what we know, though. Is they're going to pull around that corner. What are you doing, 704? That's not how you drive properly. All right, we're going to we're gonna track this grill in the open for a shot. We're going to track him for a second shot. And he's going to die. And, oh, oh, Heavy Tank's blocking me again. I love allies so much. They always just so happen to be perfectly situated to block my shots. I know it's not intentional, but it's a little sad. Okay. Ooh, bigger brain plate. Oh, the Badger's just going to annihilate this tortoise with DPM before I can farm him out. This is so sad. No, it wanted to big brain farm this tortoise, though. Uh, oh, well, I guess not. Okay, nice one, RNG. Alrighty, and another one. He goes down very, very fast there. Does Yo still wants me, apparently? Moisture's just yellowing in. Oh, 398. Bit of a bit of a low roll when I needed that dude to go down right there. Okay, which way is the VK90 looking? Kind of not looking my way. Okay, can can you guys all pen your shots on this VK, please? Please? I swear, if you guys let me die here, I'm gonna be very mad. Oh, thank you. Alright, I don't think the Yo can quite shoot me from here. Maybe he can, barely. If I pull up enough, I should be safe. Sorry, buddy. Buddy, I need to get down. Okay. Once that VK fires again, we're full sending it and yoloing him for a full magazine of damage. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. One shot. Two shot. And he's dead. Oh, my goodness. What a sweep game. We still got okay farm out in the end, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. What a bizarre battle. I don't think I've ever seen, like, triple TDs just yeet straight into our spawn on Himmelsdorf while, like, all their heavies are just chilling on heavy side. Very bizarre stuff. But we do get the win. I got okay. 3.7 or so K damage out, which is okay, I suppose. If my allies weren't blocking my shots half the time, I actually would have had 4.4 4 .4 or so. Easy what it is. Players, I mean, <laughs> bad as use last gas. True. <laughs> last night's NA, it's night of... <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Very interesting. I'm still having fun, though. Uh, Josh, I'm my friend. Someone broke a few to come now. I've smashed like any kind of player. I think anyone can play the G-Sword pretty well. I mean, all you have to do is just sit back somewhere where you're not going to get shot and farm damage. But players that are better at using high explosive ammunition, have better aim, and can read situations, generally speaking, better, will do much exponentially better in a tank like the G-Sword. Uh, Smasher's got the same thing, though. Like, the Smasher is busted and broken. I mean, we can agree about that. But also, I've seen so many Smasher players just get absolutely bonked because they weren't the best. So, I think you could say that really about any tank in the game. Uh, what we're going to do for now... Okay, if they send someone onto A, I'm going to be here to give them a very miserable day. Defensive for 60 TP can spot them up. Let's see. I want to make this happen. I don't usually snipe, but sometimes if it's, like, getting right into A cap, mm, that's not going to work out. You spotted them way too late. Sag. And I won't be able to shoot the 50B. Okay, our 60B, if our 60B drops in, the 50B goes to shoot at him, though. That's a different story. Ooh, 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 ooh. Interesting Fosh Blaze. Uh, very aggressive Fosh Blaze. Very, very aggressive Fosh Blaze. I'm not really sure what their man's is thinking here. Man's is getting a little bit too excited in our spawn, I think. Um... And that's not going to end up very good for our mans either. Oh my goodness. Why is he pulling back now of all times? I wasn't even spotted. Bruh. Players are very un difficult to understand creatures. Okay. The enemy 4005. Really aggressive. Only have a few seconds left on my equipment here. So I'm going to take advantage of that. He is running a small liner. We hit one shot. Two shots. And a kill shot. Nice. Good stuff. That's what we're talking about. Oh, and we take 500 damage from their Waffenträger or Sheridan. Probably Sheridan or TI2. All right. These games have been very bizarre, haven't they? Hmm. Okay. Oh. The potential is unlimited. The risk is super high. We're at HE Magazine on this Amex 50B. It's worth the risk, boys. It's worth the risk. It's worth the risk. 
Three. Nope. Oh, we, we, we only tracked them, but oh, 500 for that second shot there. And oh, another 500 plus a fire. And oh, we kill him. No, oh, leaving him on one hit point, but he gets taken out in the end. That was worth, I think. Oh, not worth for our Type 71, though. And their Type 71 is big braining, returning to spawn to start harassing me and my allies. I'm going to use their 45 as a temporary meat shield. Okay. While I'm backing up into cover. I'm not still spotted, right? Apparently, I'm still spotted. Wow, that's really, really fun, isn't it? Type 71, sitting in the back of spawn, being a productive member of the Type 71 community. Look at him go. Spawn sniping like a real beast. <laughs> Alright, just to share it in type. Alright, I guess got a YOLO now. Let's go. I can take three shots from this type and then I'm dead. Never mind, take that back. Possibly just two now. <laughs> As I have just gone cliff jumping. Alright. You know what? I think we get ready to YOLO the type, type 71 because me no like type 71s. I hope you are prepared for hell. And one shell into you. And two enemy. shots into you. And three enemy. shots into you. And four shots into you. Yes, goodbye. Die. Die. <laughs> Feels great bombing type 71s. It's so easy getting 4k damage in this tank. Like, you really don't have to work too hard for it. Mm. All right. Lemon seed. Very nice. That's kind of uh, unexpected. All right. I'm just a very lemony player today, apparently. Alrighty, already. Cool, cool beans. <laughs> Hello, guys. It's, uh, I like the crosshair aim point, but I wish there are more variety of different aiming. Yeah, I wish we could do a little more customization to our reticles. That'd be pretty fun, right? All right. 4.4K piece of cake. Dude, this tank just farms like a dream. I don't even know what I average in it on my press account. 4.2 with 32 games, 79% win rate. <laughs> I could probably get this tank to like 4.3 if I really try hard it on this account with it. Not gonna lie. This tank is lazy and is for lazy lads. Master Blast. I'm not sure if it's for lazy people. Sometimes you have to be really mega brain in this tank, you know? Um, I don't... Yeah. Double 183s and a Yag. E100, yo, bash out the on Progetto. They could go anywhere in this situation. I would not know. So I'm going to sit here for now to try and maybe spot up and snipe the outside. I'm not going to commit. We'll figure out what, where they're going and then we'll make the big brain play. And then we will try to make the big brain play. Well, 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 what do we have here? So bash out and Progetto. Ooh, Leo going super aggro with a spotting run. Yeagerer spotting the open, taking one shot for the team, but no, someone else takes a shot for the team, maybe. Someone else might be taking these shots for the team. I don't know 100%, but... Oh, the E100! Look! Look at that! He lost half of his hit points there. Bro is unlucky. <laughs> Told you someone was taking shots for the team. Let's go. Hitting like three shots on the E100, making his day darn miserable. Oh my goodness, that E100 hates his life, man. He literally just got bopped. All right. Enemy 1A3, in the open here. Let's aim one shell in. Oh, gun handling trolls me a little bit. Second shot goes in though. I'm gonna focus on 1A3 because he's more dangerous and wow, my gun really does hit me. Oh, E100 is looking a little less happy too. Okay, let's use this rock for as much cover as possible. Because I know that 183 is going to be kind of pre-aiming for me. You want to done fired. Okay, okay, Mr. E100. Do you like to play a game of 405 Smash? Because <laughs> you know what? I would love to play a game of 405 Smash. This is just to bait you into the open. This is just to bait you into the open. Oh my goodness, dude. You are one lucky E100 player. Yes, there we go. My shots were just not going where I wanted them at all. Oh my gosh, it's the corner. Uh-oh, you got a Leo behind you. What you gonna do now, buddy? <laughs> okay, which way is that 1A3 looking? He's still looking my way. Sag. I'll wait till I get unspotted. Should just be a second. And then I can rotate out for free. And kill everyone 100 in just a moment. Alrighty. Now, because I want to make this fast, if possible. One shot. Two shot is dead. Let's go. 
Sheridan's kind of yellowing into their team a little bit here, I believe. Enemies 183s in the open. One shot, two shot, 3,200 damage dealt. Let's go. Progetto's in the back. Yag's low HP. You know, we could win this. <laughs> oh, man, that E100 had... Uh, at least he got a shell into me, so his day could have been much, much worse. It's only me and a WZ113G FT. I would love to YOLO, but I can't one-clip the YOLO very reliably. WZ needs to pull back, if at all possible. I'm hoping the Progetto tries to flank him. In which case, I should be able to clip him from behind, but I don't think that's the case. Hmm. I have to go back towards A. Ah, uh, the Progetto went the long route. Oh, I did get spotted up, though. What what on earth spotted me? Was it there? Bashathion? Must have been there Bashathion on C, maybe? Ooh, it is the Bashathion, and he's coming in from behind. Let's go. Yo, Bashathion means business, ladies and gentlemen. Let's prepare ourselves to uh, greet Mr. Bashathion in the open here. Also, I gotta get out of here as quickly as possible. Hopefully the TDs don't nuke me. All right, Batcha, come here, Batcha. Why are you playing hard to catch? Rat chat, come here. I guess he's not interested in playing these games anymore. We win. GG. Bat chat, you done messed up. <laughs> Let's go, Supremacy for the win. I just had to kill the bat chat, and then that was an easy dub. Easy. Size gamer is not everything. It's okay, coming. It could have been 7k, but we capped out. So, uh, actually, I don't think that enough HP, but it was a nice little Kalo Banov. Apparently, only a second class, even with a Kalo Metal, which gives me a lot more XP, because I just sat on the enemy, enemy spawn the whole time. Our 260. Our shirt and our Leo having a great time that game. Goodness, the 405 is memes, dude. <laughs> the batch I kind of messed up. What the batch I really should have done is when I had pulled around the corner, hooked a left and pulled onto A and cap stalled A because him dying there is what allowed me just to instantly win by cap. And that way I would have been forced to push into the open to kill the batch out to prevent him from capping A and then he probably would have won. So, very close game there, though. Hmm. <laughs> Man, can you show us the M67K? Uh, oh, yeah, that was a game that I had. But that one wasn't very interesting. I think the 405 8.7K or 8.3K would be more interesting. <laughs> but I'll have to change which account I'm logged into. So, you have to give me a moment to adjust for that. Um, Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to push a little to the right. Uh, I have a lot of heavies. I don't think they're really going to go med side, personally, as predicted. This might be a bit stupid of me. This might be a bit very stupid of me, but I want to see if I can eat this 405's day. Oh no, please, please don't spawn liner. Oh, one fire, another shot, another shot, another shot, get one clipped, get one clipped. That Waffenträger just got full health. All he was doing was driving out of spawn. This is how you know your life sucks. It's like certified just sucks. Man's literally got full health while just trying to drive out of his spawn. I feel so bad for him. But also memes. And now my life is complete. R57 dealing a little bit with a difficult situation over here. We see if we provide him a little assistance. They're 405. Might be a little overextended. Our T22 came back to support him, so we should be chilling. I'm gonna get ready to deal with this E100 soon then. If the T22 can pick up a kill on their 405. Nice. All right. And so that leaves Mr. E100 here, who's about to pull wide into the open in front of me and a couple other allies, maybe. All right, one quick shell to our man's Mr. E100. We're gonna pull back into cover before he can yoink me. Nice. Mr. Yoinder getting yoinked again. He fired. We yoink him once again. We yoink him once again, maybe. Oh, RNG says no, but we'll yoink him again for the kill. Easy. Bashathion is back here. You know what would be pretty memes if we can get behind their badger and one clip him with HE? That sounds like that'd be fun. But they are a cursed platoon, so they'll probably be careful not to let me flank them. However, you know, there's always a possibility that their bat chat gets uber big brain. And you know. 
just so happens to cross into the open in front of me. One shot. Okay, I only got a single shot into him. Feels bad, man. He lost all of his HP anyways. He wouldn't have been a fun uh, tank to yellow. Alrighty. So that dude's on A. One more shot to this dude. One more shot to this dude. And one AP CR. Not quite. Ooh, it seems actually going to look close. Badger's going to go down though. Okay. Very cute. Very cute. Pain. I know, dude. That poor Waffenträger. All, the only way to describe his situation is pain. I feel pain for him. All right. Kronwagen making the great escape, I believe, or at least attempting to. One shell to the face. He's going to take one for the T-22 before going down almost. 4,200 damage dealt. Not bad. About 4.3, because I think we caught the waffle on fire for a second. Beep, boop, bop, beep, beep, bop. Thank you so many. So fast. So what device are you currently playing? iPad Pro 20... 20... 11 point... 7 or 11 inch, whatever the 11 inches. All right, um, yeah, this this poor dude, bless him, couldn't even get out of spawn. Where are we still at? We're doing 4,250, 80% win rate. Gosh, this tank is busted. This tank is busted. I love it. <laughs> Such a weird looking G sword. I know, right? This is the mega pog G sword. This is this is my unwind version of G sword. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though, why would you get a G sword when you could just get a 4005 instead? I know it doesn't have hash, but it has like meme autoloader. Brand making new iPad with LaFun Con. Bro, Brand making new? That was two that was like two years ago when I got this device. How does that how's, how 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 is that brand making new? This device has seen a lot. And I beat a lot of what Blitz Game play over the years, including all of the comp I've played. This thing is hardly brand new. It doesn't look very good. <laughs> if I ask, I got to do five versus five. I don't really plan on it, but uh, it's, it's not a not a guaranteed no. Um, skirmish mode, right? I believe is what it's referred to as. Uh, okay, there's no leopard. I'm trying to see where their type 71 is. Grill is over here. Wonky. Mistakes were made by me. I think I should have stayed in town and crossfire sniped, but it's not the end of the world. Let's see. If one of these dudes overpeaks the corner on the Vickers, then I get the Mega Farm. So that's what I'm going to wait for. Just a little bit here. Right around this corner. Okay. Okay, one to one just fired. And uh, Leo, auto aim's, auto aim's kind of screwing with me a little bit there. I love auto aim so much, dude. I love auto aim so much, dude. Why chalk onto the bat chat with the Leos of my reticle? I should have had the Leo perma track there, but auto aim just screwed me over. Okay, we are not playing dunes anymore. Very bad idea. Okay, we can't even run away. Eh, we are done for. We are done so. We are done so. Maybe done so. Oh, we are we are probably done so. Right, two six eight just fired. We want to pull around the corner. One track shot to this man's here. Another track shot into this man's here. He goes down. I still have two shots left in the magazine. One track shot into him as well. We might be able to hit another shot into him. Oh, fluffing it. Barely. Barely fluffing it. K91 coming and save us. Oh, no. We got to make our great escape, boys. We might take one for the type here. Oh, run. Run away. Okay. That was a bad idea. Committing to the... Uh, to the med side, we'll admit, but we are still alive temporarily if we can keep running away for free. Okay. We are making the great escape. Oh no, please don't spawn me up. Please don't spawn me up. Please don't spawn me up. I try to run, run away. Okay. Yeah, that was definitely a big mistake going heavy side uh, or, or going so aggressive in the med corner there. But not the end of the world. There's still some potential farm for me to have here. As long as I take it easy and don't kill myself unnecessarily, like our, our homie over here just did, unfortunately, for the team. All right, boom. All right, two shots into the type here. Very nice. Another shell into him, just to show him who's the boss. He's like, no, I must turn my turret up. That would solve all of my problems. And like, hey, hey. All right, K91, you're our scout. I believe in you, buddy. I'm going to save this magazine until my reticle conversion runs out, because I don't want to miss any opportunities to potentially pick up a kill here. Hmm. Two seconds left. Come on, K91. Just, just stay safe, buddy. I'll try my best to cover you from there. <laughs> this is a bit of an unlucky, unlucky setup for us, isn't it? 
Okay, now's a good time to reload, I think. Take a quick sip of tea. Sweaty gameplay. The issue with the 45 is there's no gun elevation. Ah, uh, Leo's making a big brain place. Oh, 268 as well. Yeah, the dude's dead, I think. Unlucky. Okay. If he's gone, then I have to set myself in the position to crossfire out what are seven of four spots up next. But I think our seven of four is just dropping down. No, he's just chilling there. All right. Big brain 704 going for the spots, I guess. This game is so weird. No one wants to push because the 405 scare factor is so high. No, what was that? Ridiculous. Bruh. Those two shots were ridiculous. No, this team was so bad. We should never have gone dunes, man. Never should have gone dunes. <laughs> That was a mistake. I should have gone dunes either. I should have just stayed back and flanked from town and got behind them. But they sent so many tanks. I think they sent seven tanks into the dunes. My team had 704 out of the fight. And our K91 and T123 went town initially. So they took them forever to get there. All right. Just got the object 268. Good luck. It's not quite as good as it used to be in my opinion. But it's still a solid tank. Um, Carlos Cruz Hero. Brother, how'd you do with zero damage in your E3? This is very un uncool. Can't, can't leave it on that one. <laughs> hmm, maybe for the memes. Maybe for the memes. One last game of the G-Sword. I don't really feel like playing tier 8, but... But... Because I'm probably not going to do the, the replay review. We'll end it in style. For any of the latecomers that wanted to see the G-Sword. Oh, we're giving finally fixed rain. <laughs> of course they did. I told you they would. Did you doubt me? How dare you doubt me? <laughs> so consider playing tanks with unpopular guns. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? I mean, 30k subs. Oh, thank you for 400 likes, by the way, guys. All right, back to a fin grand finale game. In our, in our homie, Gisor, because the last game we had in it wasn't very pog. And so, now that we've cooled down in tier 10 for a little, we should be, we should be good to have a nice final matchup in the Gisor 1008. What a long name. Anyways, my teammates have tanks going into the mid. LT432, big burning hole down in the, over there. Very smart play, I suppose. Shark getting a bit distracted. Looks like the defender getting a bit distracted as well. One hit Ichi into the side of his turret. Not quite able to hit that one, unfortunately. Two are getting a little aggro, but taking a hash right through the front of the turret. LT432 quickly realizing what 170 hash will do to you. Dude losing a hefty chunk of his hit points there, about a little over one third. And so, let's wait for Mr. Sharky Poo over here to get a little aggro as well. Sharky Poo is just fired. LT432 is making a break for cover. That's probably the right play to make. Looks like we have a 252U here. One shell to his side. Good stuff. We also have an IS-3 just big chilling in spawn, which is, um, I guess, to be expected from IS-3s nowadays. Uh, one shell into their G-Sword. 550 damage max roll. RIP to our dude. He goes down very fast. And so, yeah, I mean, this game's over, isn't it? They don't really have any hit points left or anything to do, so we just sit back and farm until it's over, I guess. Now, g source covering the Ice-3. Can't really pressure the Ice-3. ISU's just chilling over there. lt 432 is trying to be sneaky on the flank, but I don't think it's working super well for him because he is spotted. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a good farm game or not. I'm a bit worried about what the ISU's up to. Feels bad only having 1200 HP, we'll admit. Okay. All right, there's the ISU. Oh, hello there. <laughs> G-Sword pulled. Oh, G-Sword has been exterminated. Let's go kill the IS-3. He's already dead, isn't he? He's going to die so fast here. My gosh, man. What is their team doing? <laughs> their team is just dead, man. Ooh, the LT spotted me from mid, probably. No, this can't be a last game, dude. How is their team so bad? They all just sat in spawn. 
goodness, man. Holy, these dudes are just insta, insta dead. I couldn't get any any damage out. This was an awful last game. Like, I got like a little bit out, but then their whole team just suicides into sea. I guess I should have just stayed at sea. I didn't think they were just gonna sit there and then yellow in when it's really late. Oh, RAP to the damage. <laughs> this is so sad. And now I just misfired because I'm epic. Okay. Um. I don't really want to leave it on this one. Ooh, so I got spotted through the crossing there. Sermon's LT432 is up in mid. Goodbye. How much damage did we end up doing? Like 1500? 17, 1755. No! This can't be it! Uh, such a bad game. Feels bad, man. Let me see if I have Zen Control Mode on. Uh, la, 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 la. No, I do not. Explains a lot. All right. I just 30% of the time. Just 30% of the time? What? Is the TVB getting any more billionaires or just the Clipper that did? Wargaming were like, I know a massive brain strategy to rebalance TVP. It's to take one second and add it to its reload time. And that's it. Yep, that, that's that's all Wargaming are going to do. They are just going to add a second to its reload time. They aren't, uh, see Happy Daddy, they aren't gonna do anything about the tanks, I don't know, obsessively high mobility, or insanely accurate gun, or extremely potential, clip potential, they, oh, they're just gonna take a second off of it, or add a second to its total reload. It's not gonna make a difference, guys. I mean, yeah, your DPM will be marginally lower, but overall, the TBP is still gonna be, like, one of the most meme tanks in the game in Tier 10, so... To all you TVP enjoyers out there, you don't have to worry too much that we're giving our quote-unquote rebalancing it. Eventually, I assume we'll get a bigger nerf, but for now, it's barely anything. Well, 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 what do we got here? Loud IS-5. Ooh. Yes, give me that free hash, buddy. Oh, what? Gosh, sometimes this gun just derps so hard. <laughs> Generally, it works pretty well, but like, goodness, I had his entire lower plate in my reticode. How does that miss? Ay, ay, ay. Teams at nighttime on the weekends in the NA server are really just a different breed. I, I don't know what their teams are doing. All right. One has shown to you. I guess we'll pick up a kill on you. It's already game over. What is this? <laughs> no, I just want a, chill, a, a nice chill game to end the stream off in the G-Sword tonight. But these teams are just dying so fast. It's not happening. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, 447. Bit of a low roll. Everyone's a one shot. It's like GG. It's over. Oh, my goodness, dude. It's It hasn't even been two minutes, and it's 5 2. Minute, five minutes all left on the clock. If I can kill this dude in the next eight seconds, it's under two minute game. Yeah, that game was under two minutes. It's like a minute and 55 seconds. A minute and 55 seconds to clear their team. My goodness. Yada, yada. Uh, let's see. How to deal damage when the enemy team is small brain. Impossible. Well, I just got here. King Kingslayer. Ah, oh, RP. The first, like, two and a half hours are G Sword gameplay. Then we had, like, 30 minutes of just beaming in 45. And then we're ending it on a G Sword game. <laughs> Just in case anyone arrived very late, so I could have a couple games for you guys available. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> it's 1.10 here in the morning. Oh, goodness. Trent, get some sleep. Uh, you're probably on the East Coast, right? Also, if you have funny moments, leave a comment in the, time, in the time step. Ooh, imagine. Bobby is queen. All right. Ah, yes. This map has a lot of potential. Finally. All right. Maybe we can get the epic game we've wanted to end this stream off on. There are any teams where it's at fatness. And, man, you know what's up. The nighttime teams on what blitz are the worst. The morning teams are the best. At least for the North American server. At least, generally speaking, that's the pattern. But I don't, like, wake up super early or, like, playing games first thing when I wake up in the morning. So I never get to enjoy the morning teams. I only enjoy, like, afternoon or evening teams. It's kind of funny. 
All right, I'm gonna head out. Gotta work. Like, <laughs> right, man. Take care. Thanks for dropping by. Do appreciate it. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. We are going to wait to see if their moisture or something pop up for a second here. Here's the moisture. That's the T32. Boom, 315 to him. This tank has such good shell velocity. That's the enemy g sword, isn't it? Ooh, what's that VK100 doing? I'm spotted now for sure. We'll pull out from the crossfire. I don't know where their g sword's headed, but it looks like he's gone towards encounter. Alrighty. The game's still taking its sweet old time, but uh, let's see. Heavies are getting farmed out really fast here. Fortunately, that shot misses. Uh, let's load up a head shot for the T32 here. 415, very nice. Doing a little more damage. Very slow game, but man, their heavies are really messing up big time here. They're just getting farmed out. I mean, look at this VK. This dude's about to evaporate. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like a magic trick, isn't it? How fast this tank vanished. Okay, so AT gets taken out. Waffenträger is in the mid, I believe, with the G-Sor. So maybe we can do something about these two in just a moment. I'm gonna wait for a second. I don't want to overcommit just yet. Although this game isn't looking like it's gonna be a huge farm fest regardless. Oh yes, there he is, there he is. One shell to the waffle. Oh my goodness, man. Why does he have to stop right in the open so my first shot misses? No, someone tracked him in the open, so I was pre-aiming that shot on his gun shield just a little bit. Uh, but since he got tracked, it, 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 it went to Nernia. How unfortunate. Hmm. Waffenträger's on 900 HP. Give me just a little bit of his rear. Oh, I didn't realize I had Hesh loaded. I'm an idiot. I thought I had AP loaded there because he has Spall Liner. Enemy armor is damaged. Okay, he fired. Interesting. <laughs> Finally, we picked up a kill here. Wow, this game is very passive and long. Welcome to uh, What Blitz on Castilla. Enemy armor destroyed. <laughs> this game, dude. What is this battle? All right. This battle is taking forever. All right, nice. Finally starting to pick up some kills, team. Let's go. I'm going to see if I can find. Is that I6 on the outside lane? He is on the outside lane. So that just leaves their 49 unspotted. And my goodness, I don't think this is going to be a very good game. Nice. Now their G-Sword, I believe, just clipped out. So let's pull in on this dude. Put one shell into him here, 490. I put a second shell, 402. He ricochets the first one on me. He's overextending to shoot me. I have someone coming in from behind. Looks like a wild 49. Back around the corner and get ready for Mr. 49 to do something. Looks like our CDC messes up a shell here. 49 is full setting it. Put a one HE into him. Put a second HE into him. Oh my gosh, 447 dealt. They both fired at me. I'm going to run away from the IS-3 to get safe from his positioning here. And let's see. Oh my goodness. This game might be epic after all. Woo. Woo. The epicness meter going up as we are still alive. Now me and the CDC are both one shots in this situation. But we hit a track shot onto the IS-3 here with a high roll. Oh yes. That is a perfect game. How did we win that? I have no clue. We somehow did. Um, I thought my team really wanted to lose there for a second. And there we go. That was a great example of the G-Source of it ready to do. Like, with those Hesh shells, bruh, this thing can go absolutely ham. I mean, what did we do to the 49 with two shots? We did 1,000, although he did kind of ram me for like 150 there. So, probably, you know, 850, 900. Their G-Source took about 900 damage there. T32, that was AP. IS-3 was AP. But still, man. Nice, nice game there. Uh, the... This dude gave me the good old Lucky Duck Blair. Very nice. Let's see how he's doing in the G-Sword. Probably pretty good, right? Very strong tank. At uh, 2,500. Could be. Could be worse, I suppose. All right. Uh, no replay today, sadly. Because, yeah, boy. Uh, streamed for longer than three hours. I'll do replays tomorrow. They should be available tomorrow. 
I think, right? I mean, if I stream tomorrow, we'll do replays tomorrow. That's the, at least a couple epic games I had at the end of the stream. That's the plan. So there you go, guys. g -Sword, very interesting vehicle. Love the gun. Its hash is incredibly good. When it hits all the shots, it's insane clipping potential with 880 alpha. Uh, the gun's a bit busted. I think we can agree. Gun's busted. The tank itself, though, is relatively balanced by its poor mobility and armor, which is fine. I mean, it needs to poor mo If it had great mobility, great armor, I'd just be like, bro, this thing is overpowered, right? But it's balanced out by, you know, those characteristics. I still think it's a really good tank. Uh, as for whether or not you would gamble for it, I'll leave that for you guys to decide. I personally don't buy crates, so I won't have this tank on my own account, sadly. At least not for a while. So, we'll we'll see about that. But I hope this stream was helpful to anyone who was interested in the GSR or 405, because you got both tanks in this stream today. And uh, before before we go, Le Bobby. There you go. Give Le Bobby some pats for the stream. There you go. Thank you to everyone who liked today's stream, left comments, interacted in chat, and the donos as well as well as the mods. I shall see you on the next stream, hopefully tomorrow. If not, I plan on doing quite a few streams over the next week or two. We'll see if we can reach that, um... It might be later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what? What are you doing? Terms of... Okay. Uh, we will see if we can reach that. My phone is frozen. How many subs are we at? 29,564. Okay, we will see if we can reach 30,000 before my semester starts. If it happens, 10 hour stream. If it doesn't, though, we'll have to postpone it till Christmas break or something. Winter break. So, I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Have a good one. Peace.